Hello uh, and hey. welcome to EFAP Hi. episode 200 Hi. and... <laughs> it might be 300 at this point. Huh? No. We don't know what it starts with a two. Oh, no, you will die. Oh, that just comes to mind whenever I say no. Anyway, uh, today we're doing a really special uh, pre recorded episode for oh. several reasons. One, so that we have something ready for you guys in case all yes. of us die. Yes. Or Either one or oh all of us has perished. Die. Yeah. Or there has been a terrible catastrophe that has befallen our great nation. Mm -hmm. Or. We, we, or someone's alarm didn't go off. One of those things. One of those, yeah, because we, we've said I feel before. like if there's, a, if there's a scenario where we all die at once, I think everybody's dead and no one's going to see this. Yeah, Aww. that would be a terrible coincidence. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've got, it, I've got it set. We've recorded 10 billion offline episodes already, so that'll keep going for a while. And then oh, hopefully by the right. time they reach the end, someone's seen them all and co cobbled together an AI version of us so we can keep going. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll never die. We're like uh, House of Usher. Yeah, that one. So, mm. here we are uh, to present to you today something a little bit different. Something that I've wanted to do for a while, that I've talked uh -oh. about. So, um, it relates to, back in the day, when you were when you were youngster, anyone else here can, can relate to this, I'm sure. Were, were you ever watching them documentaries about life? Good old life. Animals? Yeah, yeah probably. Like I mean, animal life, time. or just... But, yeah. Like, like, um, I suppose I wouldn't want to limit it to having animal life, but I'm kind of talking about animal that, yeah. plants, rocks, sure, all of them. What are they up to? Um, Science, clouds, yeah, yeah, those, those, those nature documentaries where they like, Ooh, I like nature. follow, follow around those critters and like, look, that's all wholesome, and then they look kill a deer critters. and it's horrible. Oh, no, yeah, and you're like, yeah, nature. Some old guy would be talking about how, how serene and peaceful and tranquil the life of this little. Little bunny rabbit and or something, blah, 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 blah. and then a leopard would pounce on it and fucking rip <laughs> it to shreds. But nature doesn't care for you. <laughs> nature so shat said, all over this little fuck. Nature pooped funny. on your dreams. They gave it a name and everything. You said they're a six-year-old. He oh, was yeah. like, "Oh yeah," and then it's like, "Oh," I was like, "No, no." So as a Brit, because we got we got four corners of the world here, okay, sort of, if such a thing could be said, I saw a lot of BBC ones. Meanwhile, I assume you guys didn't really see much BBC content at all. Why would you, right? Yeah, not much. Oh, not I've, much. Seen, yeah, I've seen some BBC oh, yeah, stuff. Some, yeah. some stuff here and there. Okay, well. I mean, it might have been BBC stuff. I couldn't tell you. I was like six, so. Oh, you could always spot a BBC when you see one, so don't worry. You'd know, <laughs> yeah. You'd know the British Broadcasting Corporation. So, uh, this is part of the reason why this is pre-recorded. You must have heard of the Walking With series, correct? I have no. heard of it, yes. Yes. The classic, the famous Walking with Dinosaurs was quite popular. Uh, people were oh like, wow, goodness. this is real cool. What they did was like create a nature program, but it was with CGI dinos going brr, 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 and some some prosthetic recreations as well. And then it would just be all taken as though it's serious and happening. And, and you know, people were like, this is fascinating. It's life I've never seen before. Wow. Um, yeah, it was fun. And then they were like, well, now what? And then they made... I can't remember actually the order of this. Let me find out. Walking cause... with Muppets. Walking with <laughs> Why New Muppets Yorkers. second? <laughs> what? I don't know. I just thought, <laughs> you know, strange creatures from a different land. I mean, they like open dinosaurs. Muppets. Open the future, they, make a, they make a walking with Boogie, walking with Wayne. Walking <laughs> with Boogie. <laughs> <DSP. laughs> the ground trembles with every step, like the mighty brontosaurus. So, and you got you see Walking with boogie. Beasts came out afterward. And Walking with Beasts is the story of what happened after the comet hits, where it's like... You know, kill the dinosaurs. It's like, how do the mammals rise? And it's like, oh, cool. No, the dinosaurs were killed by the Ice Age. That's true. No. You idiot. Yeah. Walking with That's Beasts true. ends with humans going like, hey. Oh then they made Walking with Cavemen, which I remember not being that good uh, as a kid. I, I don't remember how good it actually is. Then they made, I don't know if it was called Walking With, but I think it was just called Sea Monsters. I guess it was like, look, Ooh, there's big boys in the sea. It's like, oh, okay. And then they made one last one. That was, as far as I'm concerned, the goat, the best one, the best, best one that everyone should have seen called Walking with Monsters. You guys ever heard of it? No. Walking with Monsters? Is that like a Halloween special? They decided there's still one gap of time they didn't really cover, which is... The Age know, of Monsters. Zero to Dinosaurs. What happened okay. in there? What's going on in that period, you know? What's that called and what's, <clears throat> what's going on? Um... So they made it, and unfortunately, the others were six episodes, uh, you know, you know, big, and this one was only three. It's like, oh, right, mm. fine. I guess it's just not much to say. 
And it's funny because I was watching the Netflix Morgan Freeman narrated Life on Our Planet series, which is essentially the same thing. It covers, well, it goes from zero to humans. Um, over 10 episodes, I think it is. Quite good. I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, but they, that, that, that series intertwines, like half of it is CG uh, old stuff, and then half of it is just new stuff where they like, this would tell us how these creatures back then probably did things. But okay. one thing I'll say about it, the CG in it is like sometimes can be really special and amazing, and a lot of times you're just like, eh, this doesn't look so amazing. <laughs> you tell okay. which critters they liked and didn't like. But kind of um, when they have like the cameras that get right into like actual life and record it in super high res, it's just like, holy fuck, that looks amazing. It's like sometimes you wonder, it's like, how did you get these shots? How did you, what are you doing? And you see like videos where they have the, the sneaky ninja cams inside, like what look like weird things and, and, and you know, like actual animals to try and blend in, maybe build them into rocks. And you're like, man, I mean, not only are they going to take ages to set all that up, but I wonder how much footage they record and how much they actually use. Like, I wonder if it's even 0.1% overall, you know? Mm -hmm. In any case, I find these things fascinating, super interesting, and fun to talk about. And I thought that today, since I found out it's just all on YouTube, don't know if that means that we'll be able to upload this video without trouble, so we'll sort it out in copyright. Well, you never know. If we okay. need to. Walking with Monsters is just on there. And I was like, oh my god, this will be so much fun. It'll be, it'll, be, uh, it'll be fun to not only watch with you guys, but to talk about it. And I imagine the audience is uh, fired up somewhat, because a lot of them would have seen this when they were young and... I brought it in for school, and it was like the most popular sort of show and tell science thing ever, just because I didn't have to do anything. I was just like, let's just watch this TV show. It's really good. And it's BBC Dang. made, so you know, back when BBC yeah. could make stuff that was like worth paying for, I guess, or at least or having your money siphoned away. For. Yes. I like that you, you talk about this pretty highly now, but I'm still like kind of sussed out because you made me play Gollum back in the day. What? <laughs> that was that long that long ago to call it the day. But I haven't always day, led you guys astray. So uh the the yeah, the idea here will be that we're just gonna watch it. The series. It's, uh, it's only an hour and a half in total. And it's gonna be uh, I guess the BBC's attempt to try and give some education on how life may have formed. That's just the premise as a whole. So this here is goes. the BBC's attempt to educate the British population. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, and I swear to God, if all of education were done this way, I'm pretty sure we would be a more educated populace. This is way more interesting. And ironically, if education was more entertaining and yes. in general teachers more entertaining and invested, I would have yeah. been compelled to learn They'll so be much like, more. They'll be like, you guys don't know where, you know, where, when blah 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 happened or who blah blah. Just like, yeah, but I mean, you know all of like 40K's law. You're like, how did it ever happen? <laughs> It's like, it was the seven hundredth time you 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 taught that subject. Of then, course, you know this. Yeah, then they're like, uh, you know, yeah. Well, forty k is interesting. It's like, well, fucking world history is super interesting. It's just how you history is insane. How all you talk the, about like, it. All the the massacres and battles yeah. and, and you know conquests and crusades hey, and massacres. all the political intrigue and culture changing yeah. and shifting. And you made it boring. Somehow you made it boring. Yeah, it's That's the, the best when you thing. get that teacher. Get, yeah. get this get the teacher that already checked out he has like what two years left before he goes to retirement and he brings this over a projector yeah, i don't know there was a war he's been, and he's like now let and me tell you about the vietnamese how they no, really were fun. i'm talking <laughs> about the <laughs> one who has like yeah, tell us the, those ones are fun you don't want the ones that are just sitting down going mm, turn to page 64. yeah oh, yeah oh, they, mm -hmm. they've been using the same over uh, overhead projector files for like 17 years and they're <laughs> yeah. like i'm gonna scroll through this see i wrote this fifteen thousand years ago just write that down it's on the test <laughs> and you're like can oh, we watch off. a movie about it instead he's like no you'll be bored and you'll enjoy it and don't you use Wikipedia, you little sheds. Anyway, here goes. Also, narrated by Kenneth Branagh, famous for directing Thor. That's his primary... Uh, famous for uh, directing uh, Thor, huh? That's his main goal, attribute, sorry. That's his, like, whoa, that's what everyone thinks Claim of. Claim to fame. Yeah. Anyway, here goes. Let's go! Ah, uh, space. This is Earth. I've been there. 4.4 billion years ago. Ah, uh, not back then. A toxic, sterile ball of. <laughs> <laughs> He's describing Twitter. <laughs> <A> yeah. <toxic, laughs> like sterile <the> ball. <laughs> I was about to say it's like the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is an, Twitter. <laughs> geez, did an incel write this? <laughs> toxic, <laughs> sterile ball of women. Scorching <laughs> rubble. Meteorites rain down on its oh, surface, Britain. 
2024. <laughs> it ain't looking good. This, is, this isn't a place where life happens. Of lethal acids. On my side, there is no knives yet. The earth seemed destined to remain devoid of life. But that what a time. was about to change. Damn it. Damn. So peaceful. Oh my god, the Doctor Who soundtrack. <laughs> Majora's Mask. Oh no. Well, oh, it does no. Look kind I was of actually going to say, because we'll probably talk a lot about these different things, but like, is everyone familiar with this theory for the origins of, uh, you know, Earth as it Anspermia. stands? Anspermia. Yeah. Isn't that like the, a, a whole, uh, like another thing crashed into it, like a big one, and then just I forget shattered. what it's called as a theory, An but it's. Anspermia, I, I believe it's called. It's the, uh, the theory that, um, Something riding on something else landed on Earth, and that's what began life. Oh, I think um, I thought this was what they were showing right now was a collision between Earth yeah. and another planet that created the moon. Yeah, yeah like all yeah. the debris oh, went oh, outside, the Earth is a and combination the gravitational pull two creates, planets, like, the, yeah. the moon. Yeah, <clears throat> and the, the okay. big old set of rubble formed the moon, which I think, as far as I'm aware, this is widely accepted now as like the assumption. Uh, as I understand it, yes, this is generally accepted. Yeah, I mean, that's one that I knew about, at least. This has been a weird day for Earth. Not that well, was there that was nobody, nobody on it. I want you to actually consider the concept that if there are no, like, living things on the planet, everything is... There's nothing to see anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's no color, there's no... It's, it's all just, like, black, in a sense, right? There's no... There's nothing to perceive anything. Because the rocks don't perceive anything, the gas doesn't mm. perceive anything. It's all just out there, and it's all just like shrouded in darkness. Because there's no one to look at it or see it in a way. Not it's entirely all just sure what you mean. Thing. Like if we went back like in time, it, we would see it all, right? Yeah, yeah. But like at the time, there was nobody to see any of this. All of this was happening in a way, completely blind. All the rocks and gases, and all the clouds, and all that. The the things moving through space. It's all just happening. Due to physics. We're very fortunate to have shaman rags, a lot, <laughs> like the guy with Hope and Boogie. We got our own shaman to guide us on this nice. spiritual quest. I'm Where a, a Where I'm I'm not, I ain't rags. even charging you for this. This is all voluntary. No, I know. You, you're a, that's right. You're this a very flaming I just, star rags. I just, flaming, whoa, flaming star. star. This is, I'm curly, I'm dances with tassels. More and like this tall. is my great wisdom that I bring to you. Free of charge. I, I, I just moonlight a bit as a shaman. <laughs> as you can see, the graphics are top notch. I think this was made. Yeah, uh, when, did, uh, when did this like one old, come out? Old school stuff. That is a like good graphics. question. It was made in 2005, BBC oh. budget. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, well, hey, look, all right, you know. Another planet, Thea, smashed into Earth, and the two planets fused, creating a brand new world. I believe a lot Ooh. of people would listen to that and be like, that's insane and nonsense. But Earth is bisexual. <laughs> nice. It's, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's, I think it's a badass origin, the idea that, like... Yeah, that's yeah. insane. That's great that the idea that we're, like, our planet that we're walking on and live on is the fused, you know, parts of two different other planets that came together. Mm -hmm. And their gravity just sort of ballified them. They had them. the big sex, and then they made the moon, yeah. the little kid. They got really hot <laughs> as well. <laughs> this is how kid. moons are made. Those oh, balls whoa. have been locked, man. Mm-hmm. Even today, Thea lies right beneath our feet. Whoa, sorry. Didn't mean to step on you. A smaller chunk of Thea Gee, became our moon. And oh, slowly... Our oceans fall. But it wasn't, though, metal. <laughs> it was very yeah, this took, this very took a while, long. kind of. <laughs> no, that was like 10 seconds. It looked That's like insane. a few minutes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, blink and you'd miss it. Until life on Earth was ready to begin. But who would inherit this blue planet? The meek. Oh. Oh, this great. series They don't look very meek. No, they look strong. <laughs> no, that, yeah, I guess I was misled. Extraordinary story of life before the dinosaurs. A time when strange and savage creatures fought a ruthless battle to rule the earth. Oh, damn. Oh. See, this this, this doesn't look too bad. It's all right. Like, you know. Just... Oh, that centipede. I mean, it depends on the scale. That centipede could be absolutely terrifying. Centipedes are already terrifying. Centipedes uh, I, I are figured, awful. I think he was talking about the graphics. 
Yeah. Oh. Well, I was going. I was. Oh. All right, Mahler. You wanna? All right. <laughs> I was getting lost in the magic and the mystery, but you know, it's yeah. The graphics could be better. I agree. That's not what I said. Wow. <laughs> I said they're pretty good. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm confused. You're, so always so many You're always focusing on the technical. You can't focus on the spirit of the thing. Shut up, shaman rags. <laughs> oh god. Amongst oh, the more no. old earliest ancestors. Oh, he looks friendly. Oh no, no, no. Just, no. Said it. We'll decide whether we humans Here, would exist your tail all. like they do now. Oh my god, that night vision back then. That's crazy. Yeah. As they evolved, these bizarre creatures created the blueprint not only for our bodies, but for everything living today. Grow those legs. I need them. I, I, I'll need them. I need <laughs> Please grow those legs. I need those. Those, uh, those like almost evolution over a shit ton of time done quickly stuff is like crack to me. I love it. I think it's cool. It look, as fuck. It's really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I also love the organs. the effort they put into stuff like this, where it's like they recreate a little model, and they're like, "Look, it's it's hinges and and connectors and limbs and joints that you're all going to be familiar with." Because well, what they need have to them. do, they need to have like when they when they're fighting each other, the X-ray moves from Mortal Kombat. Start watching each other. Zoom in as the boats alone. crack. This is life's forgotten story. But not us, we didn't forget. God, run from that spider! Run! <laughs> you can eat the bugs. Between monsters. Oh god, that was like real! Yeah, they put some of that in there too sometimes, it's awesome. Nice. Boo. They make it seem like Earth was one big battle royale. Fuck <laughs> yeah, because it's interesting, ago. bro! <laughs> Dude, I was just waiting for Kratos to arrive in that scene. I was like, ah! <laughs> There were, yeah, all the animals arrived from space in the battle bus, and they just started killing each Hell other. Hell yeah. Everyone knows the Cambrian period, come on. Yeah. Oh, I've been to Cambridge before. Yeah, yeah. my girl are was we gonna, Cambrian We're gonna see an explosion and, here. A big ol' explosion. Uh, oh, finally, the fine. good old days of China. That's China? That looks way yeah, yeah, more man. peaceful Years than ago. today. Nothing yet lives on land. See? Yeah, jump into the ocean oh, there. Great. But in the ocean... It's a different story. Oh my god, we go for a swim! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring my swimsuits. <laughs> Life has already been evolving for millions of years at a slow and steady pace. So they kind of skip chapter one, which would have been... Which would have been single-celled organisms for like three billion yeah. years. Yeah, the... Would it be would it, the primordial soup, right? Is, is like where life begins, mm. collection of all kinds of chemicals and gases and stuff and then it's not very loud at all i guess the thing is they've uh they've jumped to the to the the old explosion here well yes right, uh, right. Wh why i find the the that part so interesting though is because a lot of people will be like yeah you can't explain that part and it's like no actually the, that part's super interesting like the the single cell organisms gradually evolving into even slightly more complicated or very much more complicated over many many millions and Perhaps even billions of years, who knows exactly how long. I think there's it, definitely a time limit on how long that's interesting for a lot of people. And I think, myself well, included, it's it to see the single cell, the, the microscopic stuff, that's neat for a little bit. And then I'm like, uh, we, gotta, I, we gotta get to animals, we gotta, we get, gotta to, like, get to like real animals. animals. I'm not talking yeah. about it from a point of view of whether or not this is a smart decision, I'm fine with it. I'm talking about the actual thing itself, just how, um, you, like, you, do you guys know about like the evolution of the eye? It was like yes. thought to be one of the ones that kind of defeats the notion of evolution because it's so complicated and so incredible. And it's always misused the quote, and then they don't say the thing. Well, the, the, the eye. irony is that modern sort of assessments of the eye is that it's broken in a couple of ways. Like the design is fucked up. The uh, I forget. And we know pretty much all the steps along the way for the evolution of the yes, eye, from which just is being able to detect photons. Period. The part that I find super it fascinating. Cave and mirrored. Like when you have the simple, 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 simple creatures that have like light detection is something they that you know going from mutation, right? It's like why would that be something that would help them survive? It's like well, they can tell the difference between being in the open and being under shade, um, and under yes. shade is more safe. So we already have like a, you know, I'm so layman on this, but the fact is like as long as you can find some level of survivability increase based on an evolutionary mutation, there's reason Anything for it to develop. Anything that allows you to better pass on your genes. Exactly. Yeah. 
So uh, the right. whole like an indent appears to better tell the direction of light, and then uh, it closes around, creates a ball, so you have a pinhole to really, you know, like you know, finalize your ability to tell where light's coming from. Then the lens would develop so that it better uh, sends the light forward, and like you, you can like I don't know if you've ever seen the videos, but they talk about how like, from step zero all the way up to where we are of how the eye got to where it is. Super fucking cool. And, uh, I must need to, oh, that sounds super interesting. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, oh, I'd love to have seen that, even if it was done over one minute. But, like, you know, the same thing happens for legs, arms, heart, lungs, brain, all this different stuff. Like, it mm. just all has this different reason to keep moving on. And a lot of what gets done in this show is stuff like that, which is like, ooh. Yes. Look at those jellyfish. They, they, Look at them go. Early boys. Oh, oh speaking of which, out. we should watch Sorry. the sphere. The what? The sphere. Uh, what's that? It's a movie where there's a uh, the underwater and Michael Fishburne's in it, or Lawrence Fishburne's <laughs> in it, and uh, there's the, they're under the ocean, and it's kind of like a sci-fi, spooky sort of sh uh, movie. Oh my God, sounds fun. The there's, there's a scene it's with a lot of movie? jellyfish. Mm -hmm. So slow, oh. steady pace. The seas That's a lot of jellies. No thoughts. Just how swim. Many, how many mass extinction events have there been? Was it five? Uh, there, well, have I, you seen I, Twitter lately? I, I don't know, because <laughs> uh, I guess this one's going to be leading up to the uh, that big one before the dinosaurs. Uh, uh when Pangaea like that the big old heat wave or whatever. As I as I I thought it was wasn't it something to do with like basically mass eruptions for tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands? That was of years that was one of them as well. Yeah. Because there was an, a great ice age as well, right? Is the, the thing that well, fucking Mr. The, Freeze the, was actually the referencing. The dinosaurs was the, uh, <laughs> one before the dinosaurs, yeah. like the, the kicked off that era. That was the biggest one in terms of the sheer amount of species. Well, arguably, for me, we are the biggest one. Wow, I don't think we're as big as that one actually. I, know I don't it's think we are mind, actually, but yeah, well, I don't think we're even close. Oh, no, of course not. It's that. only ever in a metaphorical sense in terms of what is going to happen mm, eventually, yeah. or the, what damage we've done and what species we prevented from, you know, all that bullshit. <laughs> I agree. We need to gene splice gonna, new species together Jurassic in order to make up for it. I'm going to Jurassic... Not Jurassic all that, all that is, is all make the other Jurassic animals Park. being jealous of how successful we were. They're all do like, Jurassic mm. Park, just do it smart with big fences. <laughs> just do it smart. <laughs> and maybe <laughs> genetically don't give them such sharp teeth and claws. Give them just a little padded speak. teeth. That go give, them, nang, nang, give them little... Uh, yeah, give them mittens. Just put mittens on them. <laughs> you can do this right. We know we believe in you. Kindly drifting in the currents. Whee! Look at him go. No. I'm, I'm upside down, but I don't care. Love I'm just no skeleton. Evolution. Oh look, arthropod. Uh, the, yeah. Look at him go. <clears throat> oh, fuck off. Jesus. Oh man. He's just hanging out. I believe this guy was one of the ones that was sent into us this to check out as an extinct creature. Earth's Anomalocaris. This is Anomalocaris, Earth's first super predator. A bit edgy, but all right. <laughs> oh, I'm a super predator. So it's like six feet long, something like that. How long is a meter in feet? Eyes. Eyes. <laughs> Eyes. <laughs> That's an answer to your question, right? Unique. Many predators in the Cambrian seas have also evolved eyes. And so have their prey. No, damn it! The consequences have been no fair. explosive. Explosive consequences. Cambrian explosive? Explosion oh, shit. ish? Being able to no, they can see them coming. Dang it! Has triggered an That's the one thing I didn't want to happen. This battle continues today, Ugh. and is a major force behind the variety of life. To combat being visible and vulnerable, 80% of creatures in these shallow seas carry firearms. Sturdy skeletons <laughs> on the outside of their bodies. Stand your ground! Building up that <laughs> armor stat, huh? Yeah. In the future, they'll give rise to insects and spiders. Boo! But also okay. But in these yeah, <laughs> spiders, spiders can be cool. Yeah. Everywhere. And even the mighty Anomalocaris' defenses are constantly put to the test. Say the thing from I mean, Star yeah, Wars, do it. De Desert Eagle can shoot for anything, so... That's, that's true. Kinda... There will Desert be people Eagle. who will comment on this saying, you know that this isn't accurate, right? <laughs> I'll be like, listen, okay. All right. 
I think they tried. They gave a shot, but they got some stuff wrong as far as I'm aware. That's yes. okay. Yes, are they? No, they're not doing the sex. They're doing the fighting. Fight. Yeah, listen to the music. This is fight music, not... This is sex music. <laughs> Just <laughs> so we're <laughs> this this on but... the same page, but... <laughs> I am incredibly erect right now. This, this is what yeah. I always turn on. <laughs> Get a lady in the bedroom, turn on the soundtrack for Walking with Monsters. <laughs> oh no! She's about to be walking with a monster. Oh no, get him! Oh, oh my goodness. Game over. You kill him. Eat him! GG, easy, no re. <laughs> Rack's like, eat him, come on, eat him! <laughs> <laughs> to a completely different threat. We oh, are no. Legion. For we are many. <laughs> Look, it's one of the big boys, but he's defenseless. He's... Get him. <laughs> oh, they're eating him alive, huh? This is Haiku Ichthys. He's the size of your thumbnail, but he's an evolutionary giant. It's just Haiku for friends. I just want to look at my thumbnail just to get a good mm -hmm. idea. <laughs> he's a little guy. He's unique because Look, he's us. Armor on the outside, but super young. He's tough inside. Oh, that's he's good. Not like, he's, like, like, he, like he doesn't inside. care what other people think. He's confident. He has a lot of self self esteem. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, don't worry, guys, I'm going to hang in there so that you can happen. That's right. Yeah. And that's the kind of armor on the inside I need. What a lad. He's the very first vertebrate, forerunner of all future backboned animals, from the dinosaur to the elephant to us. Yay. Yay. With us. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Eat that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, guy's an asshole. He can scavenge flesh, then dart away unharmed. Normal scavenge cars can flesh. screw. Scavenge flesh. Scavenge flesh. We're gonna be bigger than you one day, and we're gonna own the seas. Yes. We're gonna we're poison gonna the seas. Boo -boo. <laughs> we're gonna nibble your boo boo. Our tiny backboned ancestors have survived a sea of monsters. But there are still many more battles ahead. They must adapt or die. Oh, here goes. Evolution takes over. Ooh. Just go, like Evolution, that. go. Oh my god. It's what it is. So oh, there's two of them. Hyper gradual changes, real small, but. As millions of years pass, fish build on their basic design. I like how he says the design as though there is someone tooling <laughs> with this. Like, hmm. Big so strong. Much there the isn't. Look at him. They evolve a distinct head. Yeah. I, know. I like a ramming. good distinct head. If anyone will just stay that way and, the, and just grows from the back and it's just a penis. I like that they keep the first thing there for reference of scale. Yeah. Hmm. It's handy. He's a big boy now. He's got some little handies down there. Whoa! Evolution, Still water bound though. You gotta gotta get out there, oh, dang okay? It. This Look at his eyes. Yeah. This is Cephalaspis. She's a peaceful grazer. Cephalaspis. Hello, Cephalaspis. How are you doing today? One of our ancestors had piss in their name. <laughs> That's okay, though. Oh. Oh, 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 crab! Oh my god, just swim up! Swim up! Swim up! Swim up! <laughs> They're ready for oh round god. two! Oh Ow. god! Oh, yeah. I just camera. got that screen, you piece you of fucked shit! Up the That's camera. the first screen oh on Earth! Oh my god! Oh my god, scorpions yep. and squids and crabs. I it's the crustaceans time! <laughs> Zoidberg is on the Zoidberg. rise! Zoidberg! 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 Sponges. sponges filter food alongside sea urchins. No one cares about the sponges. Yeah, fuck you, sponges. You're gonna clean my sink. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. A distant relative of squid and cuttlefish. I don't know where I'm going. As long as a truck. <laughs> long as a truck. <laughs> as long as a truck. Jesus Christ, that would be interesting. Or is a truck as long as he is? Mm -hmm. I guess a truck is as long as he is because he came first, right? Yeah. Kyle, do you want to eat the vanilla custard or the cuttlefish? <laughs> Swim up, you fool! Cuttlefish and asparagus or vanilla paste. Yeah. <laughs> Bronto <laughs> Scorpio. Cuttlefish and asparagus? <laughs> Alright. No, I will eat the cuttlefish! Meter long, but I have. Rags has no fucking clue what you guys are doing. <laughs> oh, I do, no. though. It's okay. It's great. It's it just fine. Goes we'll we'll roll it back so that, so that Fringy and Mel yeah, can meet so Bronto Scorpio. It's okay.
Meet Brontoscorpio. Hello. That's a guy. Pretty cool name. Oh, ah, ah. Oh. He's a meter long monster scorpion. Jesus. With gills and a stinger the size of a light bulb. Imagine that thing the size of showing a light up on your front bulb. porch. Zero, zero, zero. It really is interesting to think about how scorpions still exist, you know? That even, yeah. you know, yeah, they're basically the same just years ago, yeah. the base design persisted and endured. Makes it's just think. that. It's just that ace. Yeah. Well, it's all about like filling an ecological niche, even if you're not, you know, absolutely at the top. This has evolved an early warning system. Eyes. Spider sense. Special sensors on her skin detect the tiniest vibrations in the water. Oh, okay. My early warning Whoa. system is my eyes. Is that another real model they're showing us right now? That it looks, looks like, that looks yeah, it looks really real. Good. Yeah, that <laughs> looks tangible. Pretty neat. So it's like, wait a minute, there's a scorpion. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Hey. Go. I like how Come when on. it closes its pinchers, you hear the. Yeah. Kephalaspis can't swim fast for long. Oh, wow, loser. Just swim up for shortly and you'll be <laughs> fine. Just swim up. up for shortly and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> What if it's retarded, Rag? Right? What, what if it's as retarded as some humans? <laughs> this was not the age of scholars. Remember Prometheus? I, I like... <laughs> Get going. Blah, 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 oh. blah, blah, blah. He's hungry. Oh, hey, what the? Alaspis suddenly changes her path. Hey. <gasps> bad, bad vibes? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, it's a submarine. Oh, it's gonna oh my god. Holy it's mother a of shit! It's oh. Mega Scorpio. No, it's Aquaman. <laughs> oh no! It is. Oh, it's a big <laughs> scorpion. <laughs> Terry Gotus is the titan of sea scorpions. Terry Gotus. Oh, hey, thanks, Terry. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, I got you, man. You just lead him over here next time. <laughs> I'm always hungry. <laughs> I can eat Bronto Scorpios Jeez. all day. Yeah, I'll just tear this up. <laughs> and my kids can have some. She's, oh, num, 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 num. She's turned the tables on Brontoscorpio. A little he'll bit. Make, he'll make a good meal for her young. Right, I, I love this delivery <laughs> this, uh <laughs> Just the best kind of Uber Eats you can get. Oh, yeah, you should be up there a lot. <laughs> With all those Bronto Scorpios yeah, down there. Head, you need to... Their head is heavy, so it's a yeah, heavy rags. burden. It's difficult. Uh, you heavy wouldn't is know. the head who wears the... The crowd. Drown. Heavy is the head that doesn't drown. Oh wait, are we about to head on to land? <gasps> in land. Oh, oh, I love oh, fresh water in land. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. That's it good brings mean. me life. It is where I shall settle. When people were shorter and lived by the Except water. Except in Las Vegas for some reason. <laughs> There's a dam. We made a dam. Yeah, but that's kind of far away, isn't it? Yeah. Not well. I mean. Hotter than the sort Sahara. Of, Jeez, that's really. pretty hot, actually. It's mm, sizzly. The air would be toxic to us. It has much less oxygen and 300 times more carbon dioxide than today. Oh. Yeah, because we, we ain't up to plants yet. But some forms of life have gained a foothold in this furnace. Oh, wait. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, Fringy. <laughs> Look at the popcorn. Look at him go. Good lads. That looks like a model they built. It does, mm -hmm. yeah. It does. But yeah, uh, that's probably the way to do it. To help it grow. Looks like floompy fingers. I like the idea well, that plants are like... It looks like the floomp fingers from Book of Boba Fett. All we've figured out <laughs> oh, yeah, is to go right. up. That's what we've got so far. <laughs> like, yeah. not bad, not bad. <laughs> so they're doing better than Star Wars. They know where up is. I'm a man... I wanna... Now I kind of want to see, like, a Jordan Peterson documentary that's just talking about crabs. Lobsters, yeah. Oh, no, lobsters, <laughs> lobsters. Yeah, that's right. Crustaceans yeah. and arthropods. Yeah. <laughs> Walking with lobsters? <laughs> First, those lobsters clean their room, and then... Uh, They're going to go to out. the sex place. The Kefalaspis convoy plows upriver, away from the sea. They're making the marathon journey back to the spawning grounds where they hatched. Incredibly, our fish ancestors already use memory. They use familiar landmarks to navigate. Oh, they they got memory. They unlocked that in the skill tree. Nice. Memory. Um, that's a main unlock. One of the first complex brains. Whoa. Mm. 
Look at it. It's, much more it's beautiful. Was what? The, are you saying the other ones are simple? I guess he is. What a brick. They seemed pretty simple. It's thanks to these primitive fish that we can think and solve problems today. Fish. Yeah, so no, say thanks, thanks everyone. <laughs> Thank no, you. Right. Thanks, old thanks fish. For, yeah, thanks for everything. I eat fish now. Just saying. <laughs> Don't tell them that. But the fish have underestimated their enemy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. They already had legs. Darn it. Oh, look, you bumped the camera. He looks pretty good, too. <laughs> I think so. It is the arthropods and not our ancestors who have taken the first momentous steps out of the sea onto dry land. Man, it's so funny that these guys had no idea what they what yeah. they had just done. It's like, what is yeah. this? <laughs> I guess we'll go on land. It's not it's not bad. I feel yeah. heavier, but... Oh, yeah. look, lungs. Whoa. As well as gills, he has simple lungs made up of hundreds of thin layers of tissue. He can't... Huh. Yeah, he just it's my bed when I'm got a cold. He can't breathe in and out like we do. He just absorbs the oxygen into his blood. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. A whole new world to conquer. That looks like he's praising the sun. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yes. baby! <laughs> yes! The scorpions patrol the shoreline. Scavenging on whatever the sea washes up next. That's <laughs> like the next ones. We can go to land. Oh, they're here. Which already? is the one that comes in? Is it flotsam or jetsam? Yes. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Well, things are fine here. Finally, the fish approach their destination. They've navigated their way back to the spawning pool. <laughs> oh, spawning pool. It costs two hundred mineral. Now they have to cross a ridge of rock to make it oh, to the river. dang it. To the pool. Ah, mm. you gotta, you gotta. Whee! Whee! Ah. Uh. <laughs> the little jump. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are definitely better than others, but that's all right. Oh yeah, when you go just straight across, you're like, yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn, I'm getting late. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! no. That's cheating. No, no way. I'm just trying to coom. No. Oh my god. Yeah. The OG, the OG <laughs> grizzly bears. The OG grizzlies. Are they spawn camping right now? Holy yes. shit. They're spawning they pool are. camping. Passing <laughs> scorpions have stumbled on this bounty. Oh. The sad music. He can yeah. tell these are just that's the bad guys. That's because they're like, us. These are the bad guys. <laughs> these, these are the, yeah. the arthropods are oh, clearly oh, evil. Oh, my brothers. <laughs> I think the scorpions are just misunderstood. Get to the spawning pool and coom. <laughs> but the fish have numbers on their side. Yeah, we'll just make more. The clever Cephalaspis have navigated their way, while Brontoscorpio are only here by luck. They cleverly have numbers on their side. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> they're soon stuffed to the gills, while the fish keep jumping. Yeah, they're just like, well, you guys are full, so <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> we will not let your sacrifice yeah, go in vain. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone poop. Ah, uh, fre uh, the freshwater inland is so. Uh... It's like this one fish that doesn't know what's going on. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna jump in there and just come everywhere." It's like, "Oh God, what the fuck?" Hey, this is real. Look at that. It can't grow with his body. Shit. He needs to shed his hard skin, and then grow another. That looks good. Well, I wonder yeah. what color this is. Good. For such a large creature, this is a long process. But there is. Shed that skin. Ready to kill again. He did it. Shed that skin. Ready to Back kill to again. Back to spawn camping. I shed skin slowly but surely all over the house, and then I'm gonna sweep it up later. There's no sign of <laughs> yeah. Like we've just accepted that what we do is way less disgusting than doing it all at once and getting it over with. <laughs> We're like, nah, we just leave it wherever, and it just gathers. Just turns the screen like you guys are really judgmental. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, you're just used to what you do. Our ancestors have survived. They've laid their eggs and are returning to the sea. They've unlocked, yeah. they survived Come level on. two or something, and now we're yeah, leveling up. Yeah, wait till start sweating, you'll really be in trouble. Spend your skill oh points. Boy. Oh, oh, we're doing God. another. Oh nothing. shit, here we go again. Whoa. What's that, a Glock? He <laughs> <laughs> evolved a Glock out of his head. <laughs> Whoa! The fish's gills adapt to form the first jaw with the very first teeth. Whoa. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, go on the attack. Eat those yeah. scorpions. Show them what for. Oh my god, so they got feetsies. 
bones. Mm. Some develop tougher bones and muscles in their fins and shoulders, which become the first limbs. Limbs. That's true because there's not trees yet. <gasps> With this. Yo, salamander. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, this is the lad you may famously know is more so considered the one that crawled out. Was Dev! Like... It's Dev! <laughs> what? That's Dev's final yeah. form? It's his period. It's Dev's period. Yeah, it's look colorful. at him Giant amphibian. Hynerpotent. <laughs> the man. Turpentine. <laughs> Turpentine. Land. He makes noises. Giant killer fish. Oh. Oh, uh, well, that's well, everyone's j j hazard, just to yeah. really, that's, <laughs> just assume that going forward, that giant killer fish are its weakness. Hynerpeton are over a meter and a half in length, much larger than most amphibians today. Neat. Amphibians seem really friendly, so I, I don't mind if they're big. Yeah, um, we, we like them, amphibians. They're the good guys. Hey, look. Arthropod enemies still exist, but they've shrunk since their Brontoscorpio glory days. But now they're not. not. Get fucked, yeah. uh, Shed your skin the, somewhere else, you the freak. the turntables? Still, life for this pioneer is far from easy. Uh -oh. Now someone with a gun shows up, uh -oh. right? Yeah, who's about to jump out? Cherokee warriors. <laughs> it's a whole new world. Who's gonna eat them? Oh my god, trees! No, Yay. no! Does a tree fall on him? <laughs> like, no! Years, <laughs> a tree falls on him. <laughs> <laughs> but there are many dangers. The dreaded tree the has evolved. <laughs> <laughs> like, lightning strikes him. <laughs> trees develop the ability to fall on the their The dreaded prey. weather has formed. <laughs> the trees have formed an alliance with the sky. With the weather. The scorpions. <sighs> and with nothing around to eat them, They've grown into vast forests, pumping oxygen into the air. Yay, oh, trees! That oxygen. Five. We're gonna need that for later. We're definitely not gonna cut you down. Then if you, oh damn it! We'll plant more than we, we cut it's down. Fine. Don't worry, yeah. it all works out in the end. <laughs> oh Jesus! His lungs are sacs, just like ours, and he breathes like we do, forcing air in and out so his blood can absorb more oxygen. You've got nice lung sacs. <laughs> That's a great looking we thing they had there. The design yeah. yeah. Strange amphibian. I like those close ups. So, oh, that I looks nasty. I know Putin can breathe on land, but he's still waterbound. Uh, looks his like all slimy and ew. His skin is much thinner than ours, and it dries out in minutes, so he has to keep it wet. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks pretty. And water is a danger zone. Ah, oh, dang it. Danger zone. Water is a dangerous area. Something, <laughs> something danger zone. Hmm, this all seems rather fish fine and nice and safe. The fish are now our ancestors' enemies. Uh-oh. Oh, look at him. Oh god, it's a catfish shark. The anchor head. Uh, Why does he have a hat on? <laughs> He's, got a hat. He's got a little chef hat. It's like oh a chef hat. <laughs> He's hungry. I'm Chef Shark. I'm a gourmand. I'm gonna brew you into a stew of some kind. Oh god! Ew! Oh. There's always a bigger fish. But even sharks are small fry in comparison to some flesh eating fish. Oh, I like fries. That's a big man. Hyneria weighs two tons and is five meters long. The small. She's an insatiable carnivore. Mm. One's meal too. Oh, look out, those trees fall over. Oh no. Scary music. Dun, 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 dun. Run, little Come man. Come on, Scalamander, you gotta swim. There you go. The amphibian's limbs are his saving grace. I think we, many of us can say the same thing. Mm. As the burning yeah. sun dips, Hynerpeton can spend more time on land. This stretch of shoreline is his territory. And I mean, that's the same for all of us. <laughs> yes. Hey, the sun's dipped. We can spend more time outside. 
We fear the sun. Hynerpotan females are choosy and will only go for males who can defend their turf. Yeah. The Androtatosaurus. <laughs> well, not be pleased. <laughs> this Hynerpotan has a Ferrari. <laughs> He has many Bugattis, which he speaks about constantly. This one over there is what we call a beta. He doesn't have any Bugattis. <laughs> the, first, the first sexual predators emerge. <laughs> oh no. The trafficking has begun. So does the competition. Trafficking evolves. Another male with his eye on this prime patch. Oh. Fight, fight, fight. Girls love it when you call them that. Prime patch. Prime patch. <laughs> Are they going to be able to do anything to each other? Oh, no, bad. They should yeah, they fight. They can, they can bite. They got teeth. Oh, no. They should fight and then become friends. To avoid injury, the males demonstrate their strength in a strange push up contest. Oh, shit. Now, this is something I do wonder how they could possibly have had any assumption of. Oh man, One, we should do that. Two. That's why. Why don't humans do that? Where we just start doing yeah. push-ups in front of each other, and the girls are like, "Wow, I want you." Bro, look how much. Yeah, and then the guy who wins, can do. the other guy can very easily say, "Like, you know what? Good stuff, bro. You, uh, you can do it." I respect you, bro. I respect <laughs> you, bro. Yeah, I respect you, bro. <laughs> okay, geez, God damn it. <laughs> All right, your push-ups are way more impressive than mine. I didn't know you could do fifty push-ups, geez. But now our male may be too late for love. <laughs> Has his girlfriend been devoured messily by some other terrible creature? Probably. What if it was man? Oh, oh they didn't tell me why it was too late. She would already gone because it, it, it was. Oh, it was she like left. She was oh. like, "You guys oh. are being silly." You guys are being silly. Yeah, Jerry, Chad. Oh, yeah. Dang. Terry is still down there waiting to be fed. Hynerpotan seems to have missed his chance. The only attention he's attracting comes from the dark waters of the lake. Oh no! Damn it! Dang. He's gonna die a virgin. His line will end. <laughs> All those push-ups and for what? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Yay! No, I waited for you, Jerry! <clears throat> Climb yes. the board! Yeah! Yeah, this is great. This is really good. This this <laughs> is good stuff. Educational rank. Yeah! Yeah, this is good. All right, do it. Amphibian eggs are soft, and their young have gills, not lungs, so they must be laid in water, where amphibians are most vulnerable. Oh, jeez, not while he's doing that. No, that's just gross. Bye. Oh no, dude. Not Hyneria cool. Can no. Like Hyneria can attack like a killer whale after a seal. Only just missing her prey. But she has remarkably powerful fins. Oh no! Oh shit! That's cheating! And takes the male by surprise. Oh no! <laughs> well, should have done more push-ups. Yeah, I should have ran further. Oh, Hey, at oh, least man. he got to have sex. <laughs> yeah, he Woo! did die virgin. Worth it. But the amphibians are about to find a way to leave the dangers Ooh. of the water behind for good. Smart move. Yeah. The Things are great on land up here. Lies in changing their eggs. They evolve a hard, waterproof casing. Whoa. Oh my god. You know what that means. Oh. Omelette. They've unlocked reptiles. Fully developed, air-breathing, and independent. They are the first ever true vertebrate land lovers. Land lovers. Vertebrate land lovers. Yeah, the land. Yeah, land's yeah, great. Yeah, reptiles. Water's gay. Yeah. Here comes the land. Water's gay. Boo. The sea is always uh, wrong, oh. bitch. Deadly than ever before. Boo. I want to go back to the water. The arthropods are back. <laughs> I'm back. We're so back. <laughs> We're so back, baby. 
we enter the world of killer bugs, from huge flesh-eating spiders to three-meter millipede relatives. Oh, go back, go back! <laughs> I liked Land it before in the water. <laughs> you know what? Water wasn't that bad. Water was cool and soothing. Our strange sailback ancestors who face their toughest enemy yet. Themselves. Each other. Yeah. Yo! Yeah. Thanks, Kishlaoli uh, Land. I was hoping it was like being um, like, a, like an Abrams tank or something. The M1A1 Abrams tank. That comes tank. later, obviously. Powered by a jet turbine engine. <laughs> Diesel fuel. Evolved directly from High <laughs> it, it just shows the, the time lapse of it, like evolving trend in the cannon. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. With the 105 millimeter smoothbore cannon. <laughs> and the coaxial 50 caliber machine. He's no match for the Apache helicopter. <laughs> with Someone a must have found that as a meme. Like, that has to be out there. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's so funny. <laughs> Dude, it would be fucking killer to have, like, uh, a, a, a kind of this, but, you know, arms race across human history. Yeah, And showing yeah. the guns, like, change, not in the same vein as this, but at least mechanically showing the pieces move and change and update. That would be cool as fuck. Well, do it like in, you know, in video games, right, where the, instead of the evolved screen, it's like switching out modifications and... Yeah, and you could scope and stuff. I love that intro for the spiders. <laughs> yeah, we coming, boys. Ah. Yeah, lava. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, biting, fighting, running. Back. Life before dinosaurs, because dinosaurs keep taking all the spotlight. Yeah, boo. Oh, right. You dinosaurs. Carboniferous. You get your movie. Oh, Kansas. Kansas, USA. A lot of oxygen. Giant insects. A lot more oxygen. 300 million years ago, much of the Earth was covered in vast swamp forests. Hmm. Which, uh, as I understand it, thanks to good old Kurzgesagt, it means that a lot of fossil uh, fossils, fossils would have been uh, lost because they don't get preserved so well in uh, oh, swamps okay. and rainforests. Yeah. <laughs> Even the air is alien. Alien? Over a third is off By definition, not, right? Because it's Earth. This mm. Well, alien includes things on Earth. What? Would it be really yeah. good for us? Or would it be bad for it to be that much oxygen? Like, is there a ceiling yeah. for how much oxygen we could have? This mesothele spider is the size of a human head. She'd be Ugh. Uh, a human head. Oh, I, I gotta get it. Just like, let me go check the mirror to see how big this thing is. Don't do it. Uh -huh. You'll be scared, Rex. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, look at that HQ. <laughs> I, I open the door, turn on the light, look at my head. Ah! <laughs> oh God! She rests her feet on carefully constructed trip lines. Spider-Man, in Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man from the Spider -Man. outside world. This is where Peter Parker lives. Pretty smart spiders. <laughs> Pretty smart spiders. Are they smarter than ants? Ooh. Uh, individually, maybe. Oh no, one of our ancestors. Run, he's a good guy. Reptile no, no, the spiders might be our ancestors. No. No. What? Look, he's got scales. Have you seen, have you seen the people today? Which scales, yeah. Body, vital for all land dwellers. Because he doesn't dry out in the sun, he can venture away from water. But that means then adventures. Oh, such a like, yeah, water's bro. water. We don't want that. And then they come here. And water, like, oh. we want. Well, no. if I can't take the water, I, I can't. I'll, oh, no, I will take the water. I, I don't know. I'm a lizard. Yeah. Oh Run! God! Ah. Run, go! Jesus, oh, like scary Jesus niblets! Hi. Spider would have got him if the camera wasn't in the way. Lucky Lee it was there. Oh, this was a scene from that one movie. The reptile outruns the spider. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a Star Wars creature that sounds like that. Oh, it's from the Phantom Menace. He's one. He's in the pod race, right? Yeah, yeah. One of the pod racers makes those noise. This is his ancestor. Oh boy. 
Now that's a beautiful heart you got there, bud. This time, though, he's trapped inside a log. All right, well. All right, well. We just, I guess you just mm. wait. Go away. <laughs> Get lost. Boo. I don't want to be suck. eaten. The autistic screeching of the spider can be heard throughout the swamp. <laughs> but she's not going to give up so easy. Uh oh. Oh no. No. Yo, your light sensing organ ah. should have saved you. No. Oh, no. Oh dang oh, it. God damn it. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Dang. Boo. We'll get you next time. In her lair, Mesothele will inject her victim with digestive juices. To dissolve him from inside. Gross! Why'd you have to kill things oh. weird? Oh, yeah, can why can't you just snap his neck or something? And, yeah, just Freak. stab it with your. Shoot teeth him in the back of the head. Out. Why'd you gotta dissolve it from the inside out? <laughs> Shoot him in the back of the head. You already evolved the Glock. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical warfare already. Jeez. <laughs> Good God! Imagine like if he was still alive. It drags him all the way back to its little dinner. spider hole. The spider drags her dinner home, but something's wrong. Oh no! Wait, this <laughs> lizard's gay. Does <laughs> hmm. Her headquarters are flooding. She'll have to evacuate. Damn it! Someone peed in here. <laughs> Immediately shits. <laughs> so she'll have to find another hole she can adapt. <laughs> He's like, oh, where are we going now? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, ma sorry, lady. I have to find another hole I can adapt. Listen, I'll eat you. Hey! Hey! Oh, come on! Yo, I worked decently yeah. hard for that. Megan. It's already oh dissolving on the inside. Come on. That's just Think a dragonfly. Think how big this motherfucker is, though. Imagine ooh, seeing ooh, a dragonfly ooh. that's carrying around just like a lizard. <laughs> With a wingspan of almost a meter, she's the size of an eagle. Size of an eagle? You have those Holy in shit. Eagle. This is where you really he's... get out the fucking RPG. Now yeah. I really like, like dragonflies. This is, They're this great. is Kansas. Her this is in your home. In well, not your home specific. Close the, enough. The, 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 the other Kansas, not the one with the R. Below is due to an approaching storm. Hmm. The super oxygenated atmosphere, which has helped fuel the growth of the insects and arthropods, is highly volatile. Ah. You know what? That's just the spice of life. The clock is ticking. Can't have it be sunny every day. That'd get boring. Oh, these guys seem chill. Yo, what's up? What's up? The rising water levels suit one group of hunters. Amphibians. Yeah, make a splash. I like it though, because the splash is probably real, and then they integrate. Yeah, they're Looked probably throw a rock good, there. Yeah. Mm. It's like, alright, throw a rock there, and then we'll, we'll sink it up with this tail. No, so I was yeah, like, yeah, hey yeah, guys, I've had a doozy of a day. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, bye. Well, all right, all right. Amphibians. <laughs> Ew. I don't appreciate them trying to make me sympathize with the spider. Hey, this he's, one's taken. He, yeah, his home was taken. flooded, Rags. <laughs> <Taken. laughs> this poor house was. Oh, Jesus. Uh -oh. oh, God. Oh, nightmare creature. Can I just crash on your couch for tonight? Come on, man. He's a distant relative of modern millipedes. Oh, shit. But as long as a car. <laughs> long as Jesus a car. Christ. <laughs> Fuck that shit. He can rear up. Tall enough to look you right in the eye. No, <laughs> that's not. You know, happen. with all the with all the CGI stuff we have today, that stupid uh, Adam Driver movie. They could have been in this period, and it They'd could be have been way a terrible, cooler. horrifying thing. Sixty-five million or whatever mm. it was called. Just poopy movie. So just instead of being three, three, I think, I think it, was it was just, just 65. called sixty-five. Yeah. 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 Remember, but the title was sixty-five million years ago. Oh, that was so <laughs> clever of it. Yeah. Oh uh, gosh. Our ancestors battling what we battle today, but way better. <laughs> Shaky cab, like, holy shit, guys, look what I just found. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ha, That's idiot. not gonna do shit. The arthropod's armor is his best defense. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, no, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know that. <laughs> I'm sure it happened one time, Rags, and that's what we saw. Okay, this yeah. is the, like, the one time it happens. The, the fucking yeah, Millipede's like, you movie. fucking serious? <laughs> what, what did you even do? Like, that was a Kratos move right there. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. 
Well, at least it did. You could call his friends inside. though and be like, "Guys, you're never gonna guys, believe this." Guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> that's not the race Just in time. <laughs> My poor homeless spider still like. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even going to kill that guy. Yeah, even fuck wanna. you. Dragonfly's just going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> they have speed and stamina on their side. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, the spider starts to turn the hole into a hunter's lair. Uh-huh. <clears throat> nice. If only I had a shovel. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, if I could invent a shovel or evolve one. <laughs> evolve really a great. shovel. For All I have now. is this glog in my I fangs. did it, everybody. <laughs> a new home. I hope nothing horrible happens. <laughs> she tests the new trip lines. They're already picking up vibrations from outside. Ooh. The storm is very close now. Oh, you fucked, spider. Oh, one of those fires. Yeah. Uh-oh. The giant dragonflies are forced down from the canopy to seek shelter below. Oh, oh god! Oh, <laughs> An unexpected windfall for the water predators. These guys are like, woo! <laughs> Amid the chaos, Misophile seems safe in her bunker underground. Seems safe? Uh oh. What are you implying? And then implying? struck by lightning underground and goes <laughs> into the hole. <laughs> I was, oh. was memeing. I didn't mean it. <laughs> what the fuck? Rags, your hatred for this spider has translated to the show now. I hope you're happy. Fire, ignited by lightning, has devastated Misathile's neighborhood. There Is the spooter the okay? <laughs> Is he fine? Is the, he safe? The Is silk right? was extra flammable and it cooked the spider. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. However, a Petrolacosaurus managed to outrun the flames. Ah, oh, nice. Petrolacosaurus. It's good that they called it that on account of it will be a fossil fuel someday. Oh, no. Don't go in there. That's where the spooter is. Or is it? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's cooked! Oh, it's crispy spider. He's crispy. Kansas fried spider. His <laughs> hole was at the center of the lightning strike. Mmm, crispy critter. Mmm. The reptile gets a spider barbecue. Nice. Nice. Spider barbecue. I do like barbecue. Yum. The giant bugs is coming to an end. Oh, thank God. Oh, I wish. The monster insects and spiders can't survive the change. But with their efficient hearts and waterproof skin, our versatile ancestors flourish in the new dry. Yeah, efficient hearts, waterproof skin, efficient Let's hearts, go. waterproof skin. Oh my God, skin. here we Evolving go. time. Whoa. Look at my back. Lacking restrictive armor means the reptiles can start to make it big. Whoa, shit! Their muscles and All I did was eat one spider, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a Pokemon, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, spiders will fuel the new age. <laughs> I do like how it's like, all. with each transition, the arthropods like, get eaten and then become the eaters and then get eaten and then become the eaters. <laughs> No, not quite, Metal. Not uh, okay, quite. sorry. These I got are still excited, the right? goobery monsters, they're not dinosaurs. This is still the, the flute cover kind of version, you know. Oh, look, Jimmy. Bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo! Never heard of that place in my life. <laughs> Bromaka. Bromaka. Oh, check now. You should well, yeah, go there, go there these guys the still be here. Boys, yeah. Edaphosaurus bask in the early morning sun. There's love basking. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a fossil site for early Permian vertebrates. All right, that yeah, makes sense. Dang, they're hippo-sized. Where is that? Life in their new Bromacher, Germany. Yeah, when you paying attention, geez. No, where, where that? Shut up. Bromacher, Germany. Bromacher. As is this. <clears throat> Bromaker. The many of Jews. It's like almost in the center of Germany. Asparagus. Potatoes. Mm. 
Oh. Conifers. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Primitive conifers. In this harsh world, creatures need ways to regulate their body temperature. Regulators! Edaphosaurus are sluggish in the autumn morning chill, but they'll soon warm up thanks to the huge sail on their backs. Back to the water we go. Their backbone has tall spines connected by a thin membrane of blood-filled skin. This large surface area can lose heat fast if the Adaphosaurus need to cool down. While to heat up, they simply turn their sails towards the sun like a solar panel. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Solar panel energy. I feel like that's lot. one of those things where it's like, yeah, check out our cool upgrade. And it's like, I don't know how useful that is. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, okay. I mean, that's, that's interesting, but I don't know if I want one. Yeah. Like, what have you evolved? It's like, mm, huge fangs. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Down to them that we have control over our body temperature today. I thought we were like in the chill phase now, huh? I'm sure something will be but horrifically devoured momently. And now their biggest enemy well, there's one of those dangerous down trees down. over there, so... Oh, no. Gonna They're get not them. good at sneaking over hills, though. Mm. No. <laughs> Look at how evil he is. Yeah, he's got the no. black stripe on him, and he's got the... Oh, look, he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's scowling. And... This is Dimetrodon, a vicious carnivore. The biggest reptile on Earth. Ooh. Scheming. But he doesn't know it. Does Don't he you know he's got a Guinness World Book of Records achievement there? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be, you would be so proud. Well, I guess the record's been beaten though now. She's pregnant and almost ready to lay her eggs. Hot. She finds a smaller, softer target. Aw. Mean. <clears throat> Grapes. <laughs> Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> he finds a smaller, softer target, the conifer. <laughs> he looks a bit goobery when he runs. A little bit. <laughs> I guess if you laugh at him, though, he's going to kill you, so. Oh, never mind. Charge. A tactic to disperse the group and expose the vulnerable young. The panicking Edaphosaurus flush their sails with blood. Flashing an eye spot to distract the predator's attention. Oh, yo, is that an eye spot? Whoa. Oh my. Oh, yo, look at that eye spot. But he can see through it. <laughs> oh, he has x ray vision. Shit. Nice try, losers. Gee. <laughs> so destroying nature to make this documentary. No, I, I gotta say, big clap to the cameraman. He's done some great jobs, you know? He's like. Yeah, and this would be a pretty scary environment to be in. I'd be terrified, yeah. Must have like a ghillie suit. <laughs> <laughs> and he would have a gun, just in case. <laughs> you should try harder. Mom, you don't even want to live. Mom. You don't even want to live. <laughs> Mom! But you know the parents are like, oh no, anyway. Oh, no, anyway, not... I'm not, making you one. No, not the slow one. <laughs> oh. Not the slow one. <laughs> She's evolved specialized teeth. Incisors shear off chunks of flesh. I don't know. I've heard that they were really good at e eating watermelons. <laughs> no, really. That's what <laughs> a lot of young Earth creationists say. What? Before the... Yeah, before the fall of man in the Garden of Eden and all that, there weren't any... Predators, there weren't any carnivores, right? It was the fall of man that created carnivores. What? So all the fossils and stuff and everything that had all the sharp teeth, that was for, like, eating gourds and watermelons and pumpkins and stuff. <laughs> I'm not memeing. This is what they say. I'm being completely serious. It's some of, these, I feel like that's one of the earlier the things claims. you learn about the teeth, like the incisors chop the yes, canines rip. Yes, it is one rip, of the first things you learn. And then the molars crush. Like, that's just, you know, and and the a lot of herbivores have, like, a full set of just molars. They just crush the shit out of plants, but yeah, you know, those meat eaters, they kind of need those canines. By the time the group has finished, there'll be nothing left but bones. Bones. I love Beans. bones, though. Bones are yummy. I, I stole me some bones. her. I stole it. It's the age of thievery. While lions today consume 70% of a carcass, 
Dimetrodon eat 90. But they'll only eat intestines after shaking out the waste inside. Ew. <laughs> oh. No, ah, my eyes. We're God not a fan it. of dung. <laughs> ah, that's what I do, though. That's something you learn really early, is you want to shake out the poo from the intestines. Before you no, consume something that, uh, in you don't eat that. When the, they serve the lobster with the shit, sta the shit sack still in. Mm. It's like, uh oh. The can't be doing that. That's, is that like a huge boo-boo? Because if they accidentally ate poop, they'd be like, okay, you're getting a what? bad review. I mean, of course, <laughs> you don't want to eat poop. Maybe there's some people who really like the shit sack. Hmm, maybe. Inside, she digs a deep Gross. Look out, there might be a spider in that hole. No, no we hit all them with lightning, it's fine. Now, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The lightning killed them all. <laughs> the, <laughs> the sky gods were not happy. She covers her brood carefully, ready to begin her guard. As do we all. Oh, those Boo. pesky egg thieves. Fuck off, egg thief. Boo. Why can't you be like the one from A Land Before Time 2? Yeah, why can't everyone just get along in this series? Yeah. The mother must also constantly monitor the nest temperature. The mother piles on more earth if the babies are too cold and will remove a layer if they're too warm, otherwise the babies will die. It looks really cozy. Imagine just growing up and your mom just piles dirt on or removes dirt from you based <laughs> on your temperature. You're like, is this, is are you helping me or are you trying to kill me? She's just, sh she's just got a shovel. Sometimes she's shoveling it on, sometimes she's <laughs> scraping it away. Like, stop. Can I just have a blanket? Thanks, Come on. <laughs> No blanket, we do it natural. Oh, jeez. Doing this just the way God intended. <laughs> Where's the watermelon? <laughs> it's now. Still, the female keeps her vigil. Her vigil. Wow, what a good mama. Getting weaker all the time. We started off by saying that she looks evil, which... In our defense, she does, but, you know. Now we understand her struggle. Now we understand, yeah, her life, yeah. Fuck that spider, though. No, 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 oh, yeah, the show didn't even like the spider. The show just, like, zapped it. <laughs> The show is like, you will be zapped by lightning. <laughs> in a you hole. will be barbecued. <laughs> God hates you so much. <laughs> you they made above. it work really hard to subvert the little reptile, get it, but then it was stolen, it lost its house, because it got pissed on, and then it got hit by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they're making this documentary, and they're constantly asking, oh, who do we want to win? And they're like, what? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, who do you want to... I thought this was all just, you got out there and recorded this. And it's not the mother who's digging. Another female is desperate to lay her eggs. Oh. Why don't you get your own fucking hole, tramp? Yeah. If she takes over the mound, she'll dig out and kill the incubating young already inside. It's really important that mine live and yours die. <laughs> it's Get the time. fuck away from my house, bitch! All you have to Get do is dig your me. own hole. We're on the same team. It's the, it's the amphibians that we should beat up. Yes. And the spiders. We should be fighting the Romans. <laughs> there is an entire planet. Make your own oh hole. Oh my god, are they fighting all day? <laughs> It would have been easier if you just made a hole. It's a real good hole, Rags. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that's just hole. the best hole. It's a great neighborhood. Uh, the price is good. Oh, that's it. That there. shot got him. <clears throat> a boogie awakes from his slumber. <laughs> Mountain Dew! The new predator has evolved. <laughs> well, it's it's on the nightstand, the warm Mountain Dew from the previous day oh, awaits him. That power-up Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's the resident mother. She's managed to wrestle off her rival. But not without a sacrifice. Ouch. She won't be able to defend her eggs or herself for much longer. Well, from that side, she's just got to keep looking around. 
<laughs> He's like, I'm still hungry. <laughs> He's been waiting here for months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, one of these days. I've been eating twigs. Bet those eggs are ripe. As summer arrives, the Adaphosaurus are thriving in the heat. Yeah, just like me. Just out there thriving in the heat. The young have grown and test out their newfound strength. Yeah, it's gonna play like this, you know, a sport of some uh, kind. Gonna do something fun. Paint. Some sports ball. Paint. Painting is not fun. <laughs> wow. Play right. some a painting is famously unfun. <laughs> painting? Painting? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We talk like painting pictures or painting like houses and walls? Well, oh, no. If I'm saying the fun one. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to be clear. Painting rooms oh, is shit. not fun. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Fuck you, what egg thief. What a plot twist. What a plot twist. Oh, my God. Yeah. Precious eggs are safe and ready to hatch. Yay. Let's go. The mother can hear them squeaking. She's achieved her goal. I did it. Oh, well, guess I'll die. Unlike her mammal descendants, she won't nurture her young. Her instinct now is to save herself by finding food. Time to squeeze out another one. <laughs> It's a checkpoint. They work on the checkpoint system, these <laughs> reptiles. <laughs> they don't look back. I'm just saying, though, our method, I mean, we ended up winning. Yeah. At least for now. Made some nice little egg thingies there and made them hatch. Look neat. They take their first steps into a perilous world. And are struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> they look kind the of. Sail. They look exactly the same, but tiny. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder yeah, if it's uh, it's because they couldn't. They have time to make it like a baby vision model. A danger in a familiar form awaits them. Adult Dimetrodon are cannibals. Oh no! Oh, God damn it! Oh. Just stop laying eggs. So this is like little chicken nuggets friends. running around. Yeah. Look, these guys look like us. Go to them. Oh, oh hello, they're friends. Us. Run, hello. run, run, run. Stay in a group together and be safe. Oh, God. Oh, no, God. No, don't run right into the mouth. Uh, oh, God. Team kill. Team kill. <laughs> RDM. Team kill Kick and from sports kill. Betrayal. Betrayal. Run into poop. <laughs> Ah, oh, I shook that out. Uh, I, I, I shook that out of intestines the other day. <laughs> Welcome. Wait. This is like your first ten minutes of life. <laughs> since yeah. Oh my God, I don't believe that for a second. No, I. I it could just oh, be that they've. Bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. I, I don't five. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Beat you. And then they're like, oh god, do I I smell oh, like Oh no, shit. it was Del Mama the whole time. Oh jeez, what a plot twist. Oh my god. You never know what's gonna happen in the show, you know? Show weed out weedery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to rationalize it. <laughs> <laughs> like, no no no, this is good for them. This is good for them. I do this because I love them. Oh, oh evolution shit. time. Here we go. Their legs straighten and lengthen, holding them more upright. At least that one eye grew back, that's good. Yeah, that is great. It's evolution. Yeah, it's all healed up. <laughs> not being yeah. able to grow back limbs is really not helpful. Holy shit. Alright, look at the legs on that. To house a larger brain, their skull bones expand into an enormous head. Your big brain. Oh, yeah, it's like Jakob. A new age of specialist reptiles has dawned. This one big. is an electrical engineer. Oh boy, the light come in. That means we're getting close to the extinction event. Oh no, we worked Real so hard close. to get here. Next time on Walking with Monsters, we enter the world of the first terrifying saber tooth, but find it isn't always size that counts. Oh, you look hideous. Wow. Oh, look at the Lamompy boy. Oh, you are not. You're not pretty. <laughs> Of the water. No. <gasps> Back to the water. <sighs> wow, what an adventure, adventure so far. You've learned so much. Uh, yeah, that's fun stuff. I guess it is interesting because this is an era of dinosaurs get so much attention that the era that came before that does mm. feel like it gets a bit overlooked. Yeah. Um, 
I just, I really like uh, learning how we got from, you know, zero to one to two to three sort of stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, it's uh, interesting to see. So how how accurate up. do we know this this is? Oh, like, is this, you know, like, I wouldn't rely on it for basically or... anything, but it's it's a good sort of broad overview yeah. of, of how a lot of things may have happened-ish. Well, yeah, because I figure we would have learned a good amount in the last 20 years since yeah. this came out. Well, yeah, like the, the one I watched on Netflix is uh, a lot of the stuff in that I learned from this. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then there's lots of new stuff and overlapping stuff. And, uh, okay. Like they go over the not just evolution for the sake of survival, or rather the different way, because there's only one essential sense of mutation and evolution happening is to increase the, um, the ability to pass on your genes, right? It's not even survivability necessarily. It's the uh, mm. proliferation of the next generation. I guess survivability in, in the long game. If you survive and then die but leave nothing behind, then that doesn't carry through to subsequent yeah, like generations. It, it's mm. that next generation stuff. And so you, you have multiple sort of uh, pushes and pulls for that. And one of them they talk about is just evolving so that you can uh, survive the current thing trying to kill you. And um, at one point they talk about how like when grass evolved, it was almost poisonous to eat for most animals, and then, you know, they had to evolve to be able to put up with, like, the silica or whatever. And it's okay. Just, it's just interesting to think about that, like, we have these things that are, like, absolutely toxic until there's enough mutations in enough of a direction where we're like, no, we can just fucking eat you now. No, <laughs> it's not anymore. Damn. We have decided that it's no longer having that effect. But over the course of millions of years, I think that's the thing that gets uh, a bit harder to comprehend is... Well, I mean, it's it's simultaneously harder to comprehend, but makes a lot more sense when you, you expand it across millions and millions of years. Very, very, very gradual changes that for a long time, things were pretty, you know, that in terms of the span of any individual animal's life, everything would seem like this is the way that it always was for all time. But then the longer the time horizon, the more the, the, the changes. The way that the, the trees would work, right? Because you have like base animal and then it, uh, out of its 10 gajillion evolutions, let, let's just say 10 of them were pretty good. And then those 10 have the same process, then those next have the same process, and, and eventually it's like, wait, how do we how do we end up now with like a bear, a bird, and a, a human? And it's <laughs> like, yeah, because they've all gone different directions, they've all had different results. Something that's kind of a... Uh... Tearzu, the channel Tearzu will refer to like mass extinction events as like a patch. Like a yeah. balance patch. <laughs> so, you know, when, when the dinosaurs get knocked out, it's like a balance patch that enabled uh, oh, you mammals guys need to, to be take nerfed. over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'd be like the idea that the dinosaurs <clears throat> got nerfed or something. Right, right. But it's interesting because it's like the, the idea that each of these animals fills out some kind of ecological niche. And if it's not able to fill out some kind of niche, then it essentially ceases to exist. But as new animals arise, they create new ecological niches that need to be filled. And it's like just just the, you know, all of, all of the different aspects of the environment that will ultimately influence the way that these things develop and how much it can fluctuate mm. depending on what's happening on the planet, but also the other animals that are around. And an animal that was successful for a really long time the interesting one would be that crocodiles have obviously filled an ecological niche that has persisted for tens of millions of years. Mm. Uh, crocodiles don't need to change that much compared to humans who we're, we're very new on the uh, yeah yeah on the the whole time scale of of uh, critters. Yeah, and uh, mammals were like hyper successful before we even took over. Well, mammals were successful after dinosaurs because during the age of the dinosaurs, we were like the underdogs. Well, even competing mammals with um, yeah. birds, reptiles, and amphibians, we did exceptionally well. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you compare, I, I mean, you know, dogs, cats, these are like some really like successful animals in terms of just being incredibly effective as, uh, as hunters and survivors. Obviously, uh, great apes did a pretty good job. Rats, you know, rats and mice. The, the Netflix like, series yeah, was sure, like, that, that oh, yeah. you got chain, but still. mammals uh, in the form of like whales dominate the sea, at least for size. Yeah. And then well, and dolphins and orcas do really well too. Um, as much as birds have control of the sky, you got bats are in the sky as well. So it's like, mm -hmm. we got shit tons of bats in the world. There's 1400 species of bat and they make up a fifth of all mammals. Like, really? Yeah. I didn't know it that. 
sometimes I hear numbers for like different species and it's like, how is there so many? And how do I know about this? I thought it was like a bat and that's it. <laughs> I remember the thing I saw in the Kurzgesagt video that was interesting is that the vast, vast, vast majority of animal biomass is on land, not in the sea, which I guess makes oh, sense. Okay. Yeah. But I always thought, like, well, yeah, but I mean, the seas cover a lot of the ocean. It's like, that's true, but most of the animals that live in the sea live up at the top of the sea. Like, in the top layers, there's very, a lot, lot less. Yeah, like, everything that, that would live down there, they would be, like, insane. Like, all the yeah, pressure is... they had to withstand. Yeah, and exactly. It's, like, crazy. The amount of species we had, even just, like, a hundred years back, though, has been, like, severely cut down, and that's what the, uh, I think the Netflix mm -hmm. show was trying to argue is in terms of a mass extinction is thanks to a lot of the stuff that we've done, even for bats. Well, you look at, uh, you look at, um, if you go on, like, Wikipedia and you look at, um, you know, you look up any page for some animals, you can see where they'll mark, yeah, this was the historic range, and it's like, oh, what is it? Oh, it just covers all of North America. Now here's where they actually are, and it's a much, much, <laughs> much smaller portion of it. And tigers is probably the starkest one. I think tigers, like Siberian tigers, I believe, used to have a range stretching all the way from Russia, like through China, through India, like basically across the uh, across all of Asia. And now it's just these small little pockets. Mm. There used to be like a hundred thousand of them, probably in the the turn of the twentieth century, and then by now it's like how many? Oh, about four thousand. 3,000, yeah. something like that. The introduction in the Netflix show for, like, actually bringing in and looking at humans as uh, hunters was, um, you know, not impressive for any base weaponry, essentially, but except for their brains. And they have, like, a huge herd of bison, and um, mm -hmm. the humans just organize it completely so that they slowly edge them further and further along this huge plane until they get to a cliff, and then they scare all the bison off right. into one side, and then they just essentially kill like 50 of them with ease with gravity it's just like that was fucking smart yeah as i understand it the the big buffs that human have is not only being smart but also endurance that we've got like incredible endurance compared to a lot of other animals because of sweat yeah like, we're one of the if not the best long distance your yeah. riders and the reason why is because we sweat um sweat is like an incredibly effective mechanism for cooling down whereas other animals like, the reason why dogs and, and cats and stuff pants is because that's, like, a that's one right. of the best ways that they have of dispersing the heat. Right? That's, yeah? Have I, I believe got that, that right? Is like, correct, yes. Yeah, I think yeah. that's correct, yeah. That's what, that's what I Because elephants know. have their chongus ears because that's how they get all the heat out. Or well, evolving a, a giant sail. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. After millions of years oh, look at where we, look at how far. Oh, look how far we've come. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember that guy. He was cool. It was a long was time cool. ago. Like a long time ago. They have survived the giant insects of the swamps and mushroomed into massive reptiles. Because what, what, I'm, I'm what these creatures are the thinking about it. the whole time is we've got to survive long enough no... to get to McDonald's. That's what they want. I'm just like, there's no giant insects anymore. <laughs> Not McDonald's, good. survive to get to Burger King. Mm. <laughs> well, maybe that's the big conflict. Like, the arthropods are waiting for Burger King, but the amphibians are waiting for McDonald's and... Well, depending mm. who goes to McDonald's, and it is hard for them to survive the way. Away. The whole planet is entering a different kind of crisis. One that will destroy most of these monster reptiles and wipe out 90% of life on Earth. What will the dinosaurs no. yep. want? Oof. We're getting close to that one. Whoa, shit. Oh, oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Well, by the way, the end of the Netflix show had it so that... Um, we die like the the humans and the it shows uh, London is completely overgrown. He's, uh, they basically say like you know what animal will inherit the earth next? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Jeez. hey, we're doing fine. <laughs> like, we're, we're gonna win. We're gonna be here forever. Just because every other dominant life form eventually gets destroyed doesn't mean we will. Siberia. Oh my God, uh, Siberia. It doesn't look like not, Siberia. Not going to Australia apparently. Sorry, Fringy. Close That's enough, not. though. All the continents on Earth have now drifted together to create one giant landmass called Pangaea. Pangaea. And when they hit, uh, when they finally slammed together, all the creatures were like, Whoa, did you guys feel that? What was that? Oh my god. Well, they all had a big, big party. They're like, hey, we, we were Yay. in like the war was separate, but now we can hang out. It's great. It's a brutal world where animals have to be especially tough. Perfect for reptiles. Good old reptiles hanging out in the sun. Yeah, got rid of those sails, can sneak over those dunes as well. 
It's good. This is a one-ton Siberian Scutosaurus, a distant ancestor of turtles. Although he has no shell, his back is covered in hard, bony plates, and just as well. That's all right. You don't need a shell. Yeah. So, yeah, you have plenty about you that's great. Scutosaurus normally travel in herds. Yours was a it's funny a name. But this old male's got left behind, and his keen nose senses danger. Whoa, look at him go. But where's the danger? Look at him strutting around. Yeah. He knows something's up. Look at him go. Oh, he's a, he's a floopy runner. Here's a bit of a flimpy runner. He's vulnerable. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> you look all, yeah, he looks all bony and bumpy. Oh no, that's all the opposite. The flim flam. Ah! His attacker is a carnivorous gorgonopsid. Oh no, not the carnivorous gorgonopsid. Yeah, that's really bad news for this guy. Look at him already. She's fast, powerful, and equipped with deadly weapons no hunter has had before. <laughs> like, what? You're about to find out. <laughs> I think we're laser about to find eyes, out, right? laser beams. What? Well, she Godzilla. The old Scutosaurus has no fight left. Yeah, this is one of those like, just kill me, fuck you. All he can do is wait for the killer blow. Jeez. Ow! No, oh, man! R rated. <laughs> but see, that's a good kill. Ouch, my face. Yeah, no, no dissolving on the inside. The Gorgonopsid's huge jaws hold a pair of fangs 12 centimeters long. She has evolved the world's first saber teeth. There you go, Ranks. Isn't that great? Nice. Some mammal predators will later use. Yeah, cats! And vampires. Yeah. Yeah. If we vampires. Sucky teeth. Yeah, they put them in and they go... Harsh landscape, I will suck your blood! Oh, no! A massive surge in volcanic activity is beginning to superheat the atmosphere. That's not good. Creating the highest temperatures life on Earth has ever known. Uh, the beginning of the end. Well, oh, that's what they thought, idiot. but then McDonald's is still possible. Oh, a little, it's, it's, a penis, it's, it's a little penis. Like it's a penis. It's penis bond. Yeah, that's penis bond. It's a letter T. No a pee pee. Penis bond. Yeah, it's a little T. It's a let yeah. I agree. Hey guys. Huge female Gorgonopsid <clears throat> has come looking for a drink. Oh, that's how I like my female Gorgonopsids. Who huge. Gorgonopsids will do well to keep out of her way. We're on this side, you're on that side. We've got plenty of room. She's the top predator on Earth. There'll be nothing to rival her until the dinosaurs evolve in 30 million years' time. He's like, oh, you guys left? Okay. You're just gonna drink the whole th Wow, just jump right through it. Oh, uh, that probably took some coordination, I guess. But unlike the dinosaurs, these early reptiles are more closely linked to our ancestors, mammals, than to lizards and crocodiles. Why? They don't have fur, but they've already evolved scent glands in their skin. This way, everyone can tell when the giant Gorgonopsid is around. Yeah, now piss on it. Do it. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, sweet as honey. Despite the presence of these heavyweights, smaller creatures also eke out a living around the waterhole. Oh, oh look! <laughs> oh my goodness, a hardy little burrower. Look at them, <laughs> ancient prairie dogs. That's kind of. Awesome. They even, yeah, they they <laughs> they have a little underground. <laughs> I'm eking. Look at me eking down here. Oh, this is a neat house. Oh, we get to live together in peace and harmony. I hope oh, they made look, a lightning friends. proof. Dig a tunnel. Which is different compared to everything we saw before. Oh, super hearing. In particular, his hearing is linked to tiny bones in his lower jaw. One day, these will evolve into our middle ear bones. Something no reptile has. Yeah, fuck reptiles. Yeah, losers. Interesting. Yeah, That's loser. Interesting. <laughs> Oh look! They pop out of the prairie dogs. Yeah. Little colony. yeah, the little marmots. Furiously for the sparse vegetation that is their food, 
This frequently leads to confrontation. We could have been friends. This is my food. Have... No, it's my food. No, it's mine. We could just split it. This is why we need no, McDonald's. It is, it is our food, comrade. It's our food, comrade. <laughs> We're trying to eke out a living here. Didn't you hear the narrator? Are we actually fighting or we playing? Yeah. How many push-ups can you do, huh, loser? These are, this is my tiny shrub. <laughs> there is, however, one big advantage to living in a crowd. You don't get lonely. If a neighbor spots danger, everyone soon knows about it. Guys, huge Walmart. fuckers on the way. <laughs> yeah. A Gorgon off. Go on, hide. To investigate. I heard some eekin over here, and I'm just checking it out. I can't fit in there. You guys in there? No. Look, they're I'm playing like, gonna... they're playing quirky fun music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're being cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> that counts. That's right. It's how you use it. They really are being cheeky. Yeah. You go like the there's some. Those are some cheeky boys. Bam, cheeky eekers. These tiny mouthfuls are more trouble than they're worth. Damn. The Gorgonopsid's like, you're more trouble than you're worth to eat. The Gorgonopsid knows that if she hangs around the waterhole for long enough, eventually larger prey will come to her. Taking a little nap. Mm-hmm. Someone we can relate, you know. Yeah. Animals. Yeah, a little desert nap. Back at the penis pond. <laughs> Why did they make it shaped like that? <laughs> it's a little, uh, a little, like, you know, subtle <laughs> reference. Be, but... Subtle reference to the mammalian, <laughs> you know. It lies in ambush underwater like a crocodile. In the penis pond? Oh my god. This is, yeah, the penis pond is deep. It's so tiny. Oh my god. What oh. the fuck? Wow, you really are... <laughs> that was brave. Punching above your weight there, buddy. <laughs> it, he's oh, like, oh, I thought you were someone else. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, I was, sorry mate. Sorry, my bad. Oh, no, don't kill me, please. The just... attempt was probably driven by sheer desperation. For generations, uh -oh. this waterhole has supported a wide range of animals. It's like the TARDIS, the penis pond. It's just huge <laughs> inside when it doesn't... That's a real critter. Uh, he must real hope that this is going to stay watery for a while. Mm. And not dry. Oh, the penis pond's gonna dry out. Oh, oh goodbye, <laughs> penis oh, no. pond. Goodbye, pee pee. Good times, good times. The wet season arrives. Oh, thank God. But there's no rain. Oh. Yay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> With life under such pressure, species are dying out at a rate that won't be matched until humans evolve in 250 million years' time. What are you trying to say, Nereo? Oh. Sorry. Oh, right. The water hole is now no more than a large puddle. Just because we're really good at killing stuff doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. More adaptable than most, they can dig deeper to escape the heat, carving out tunnels in the rock hard mud. <laughs> it was like, eh, 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 eh. Hey, stop. hey, did you turn on the AC in here? But the Get Santa Oh, shit. Yeah, but the giant amphibian is in big trouble. And as she grows weaker, her enemy watches and waits. <laughs> He's like, hey, remember when you tried to eat me? Remember that one time you bit me? <laughs> I don't know what you're it's talking like, about. I don't... I, um... but life <laughs> a little snor snor is like, oh, damn it. No. Uh -oh. oh, God, artillery. <laughs> Dig deeper, go. Is this when that one dinosaur movie was set? Hmm? Which one? Well, no, you know, this the is one, dinosaurs. The one that, like, around 2000 or so, that the animated one with the monkeys? Well, Dinosaur, the Disney one, Dinosaur. Yeah. Alright, I guess it, it would be later, because... Yeah, because of the dinosaurs. Yeah, because there are no mammals yet, and these aren't dinosaurs. And this could well be the first drink they've had in six months. Oh, jeez. I've forgotten how to drink. <laughs> Again, you see, this? this is why they want McDonald's and Burger King. They have refreshments on tap. These large reptiles are designed to squeeze out every ounce. Yeah, I've known girls like that. Ugh. They cannot chew. 
Their huge stomachs hold stones they've picked up from the desert. These help grind the vegetation so their digestive juices can get to work. I remember first learning about this form of digestion. It's fucking wild. Like, it's just the... Birds do it today. The stones clashing against everything in the stomach to crush it all up. It's like, okay, yeah. I guess, yeah. Um, if it works, it works, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. A shitting bricks, but it really though, right? It really feel like a crappy workaround, doesn't it? Tough little Diictodon are used to dodging danger. Danger dodger. Even she dare not attack such a large armored herd. Bilge. Coward. Yeah, yeah. pussy. <laughs> it's a standoff. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch of them waiting. Yeah. Everyone loves that penis hole, but it's it's going. That water hole's dying out. out yes, they do. It turns out the Scutosaurus are a bigger threat to life around the water hole than the predators. Within a few days, they have drunk it dry. Oh god, what happened to the little goober? Moved on once again in their eternal search for food. He's just left over. I guess, He's just yeah, in there, so. you know. Uh huh. Like a like a, a lone little ice cube at the bottom of the drink after <laughs> you've you know had it all. They represent the plight of all creatures on the continent of Pangaea. Mortality. The global drought is now obliterating millions of years of evolution. Evolution, the guy is like, I worked so fucking hard. Damn, just because it didn't rain. <laughs> For animals that do not migrate, the situation's reaching a crisis point. You guys gonna you're, come out you're, soon? You're, <laughs> come on, you can't stay in there forever. <laughs> yeah, you're not more trouble than you're worth now. Back to the Diictodon. And this time, she tries to dig them out. <laughs> like, really? Really gonna try that? <laughs> but the Diictodon's hard work pays off. Their tunnel in the sun-baked earth is deep enough to keep them safe. It's gonna be tough to dig anyway. Takes a massive shit. <laughs> Maybe that would be a way to get them out. Flush them. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> the giant amphibian. Just before the waterhole dried up, she must have burrowed into the damp mud, forming a cocoon around herself oh. in a last-ditch attempt to sit out the drought. But in her torpid state, she's helpless. Ew. Oh, that's revenge. Yeah, baby! <clears throat> Eat that thing. Eat the torpid cocoon creature. Oh, and look, Ugh. a bit of, bit of goo. Have Yum. As well. Looks like, uh, yeah, this yeah, drought, like man. Gooey, but not too gooey. Eventually, storm clouds gather, but instead of rainwater, they bring sand. Yay, aw. Oh, that's not what we need. Uh, we didn't agree to this. <laughs> sand is not very wet. <laughs> I don't want you to bring sand. That's what we have in abundance here. We don't need any more. Yeah. Can at least take some away. Yeah. It's we'll coarse, trade you sand. Rough, we'll exchange our irritating. sand for your something else. It gets everywhere, too. Let's nah. make a deal. We get water, you get sand. I have a, <laughs> have a proposition. Okay, who, who, who won? <laughs> Did the sand win? The vast, the, sand <laughs> the vast Pangean deserts continue to spread, snuffing out entire ecosystems. Even the mighty Gorgonopsid has at last succumbed. With no prey, even she could not survive. Oh, jeez. She's fucking sand, dead. Mummified in the sand, this monster will soon be nothing but dust. Remember that you are dust. Avenge me. <laughs> Over the next few million years, the Earth will suffocate under a stagnant blanket of heat, sparking a mass extinction even greater than the one that will destroy the dinosaurs. Imagine going through all that pain and suffer and torment, then finally dying, turning into a fossil fuel, being dug up by great apes millions and millions of years later, and then fueling a Prius. Oh, but these lads... 
Jet fuel your brakes. <laughs> yeah, that's... These guys are gonna... This seems wow. to be how it works. It's like, they're too big not be, to fail little. the yeah. most successful Be little ones. and numerous. Yeah. Be small, numerous, and somewhat clever. That seems to be... But then they become big because they're successful, and then yeah. they die. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And the reptiles are clever eking breeds, strong eakers. The climate shifts again. And the reptiles are among the first to recover and repopulate the empty earth. It's gonna be some big tunnels. From creatures like little Diictodon, larger, stronger herbivores evolve. These tough forerunners of mammals seem poised to seize control for good, but they are in fact set to play out their final scene. Oh my god, the Triassic. I'm getting there. It's the dinosaurs. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, they're not gonna bring more sand, are they? <laughs> that doesn't look like Antarctica. 40% hotter, so it's still fucking cold? <laughs> Probably still fairly cold, yeah. So it's still, like, <laughs> so cold. And the Earth has only just begun to show signs of recovery. The deserts have stopped growing, and huge forests of primitive conifer start to recolonize the land. Man, that feels like a fascinating idea, right? Imagine Antarctica, but, like, green, you know? Mm-hmm. No, it's just Earth for you, uh, fucking around all the yeah. time, changing things up. Plant eaters recover first. One in particular. Like oh. most of the Which one? Reptiles, one species or one individual who is just doing really well? Terry. Lystrosaurus are more closely linked to mammals and to us. Astonishingly, their vast herds make up more than half of all life on Earth. Jeez, damn. Wow, really? Never again will a single species do so well. Dang, Holy crap. that's crazy. That that's incredible. Kind of nuts, yeah. That's uncredible. I don't know if I believe that. That's madness. Would Kenneth Branagh lie to us? I don't think so. These goofy <laughs> goobers are half the life on Earth. And I'm like, what? Uh, these guys that run so fast that they like run on their back feet. Yeah. They need weights. They need to put like a weight on their <laughs> chest to keep them down so they don't fly away and flip. A tiny insect eater. He may not look much of a threat to the dominant reptiles, but the key to his success is in his hip. Ah, uh, yeah. The way his thigh bone is attached allows him to run on two legs. Whoa. Well, well. That seems familiar. The first gamer. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of agility has never been seen before in reptiles. The gamer subs add us soon. Don't the worry. other reptiles look at him like, what the yeah, fuck are wow. you doing? <laughs> yeah, but you're tiny and shitty. But maybe he won't be <laughs> tiny and shitty forever. Yeah, maybe I'll be big and shitty one day. <laughs> I wonder if the bugs <laughs> are fucking with him. <laughs> These first order dragonflies. <laughs> reptiles. <and the> dinosaurs. <laughs> Dang. Gotcha, yeah, got him. Dragonfly was like, I used to be as big as a car. <laughs> Damn it. I used to steal lizards like you. <laughs> yeah. Respect me. <laughs> Fear me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Do you know? The monster herds of Lystrosaurus hoover up so much vegetation that they constantly migrate to find fresh food. Well, greedy. They don't hoover it, you idiot. <laughs> this brings them to the edge of a huge escarpment. A huge what? A what? An escarpment, idiot, obviously. Enscumf? Enscarp? Escarpment? The only way down for these cumbersome animals is through a deep ravine. I know what a deep is. Dude, there's so much things to hoover there. That's a stab back. All right, like, all right, guys, we're going to go down this in Scarmfment. Scarmfment. like, what's in it? Yeah, I know, just go down there, Frank. Scrapper. Shut up. Did you make that word up? He's like, yeah, we're making up words all the time. <laughs> Come sunset, they begin the dangerous descent. It will take several hours. <laughs> just punched him in the face with the tail. It's like, hey. There's only space to move in single file, which leaves them very vulnerable. But it does uh -oh. hide their numbers. Mm. Oh no, the night vision. <clears throat> night vision ceratops. The predators have invented night vision goggles. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> Lystrosaurus have sharp eyesight. But very shitty and dark. But they are slow and stupid. 
I mean, they can see them. what is about to devour them from miles away. <laughs> they not react at all. They're being watched by a vicious nocturnal hunter. Whoa. Uh -oh. There is a phalian. There is a phalian. There is a phalian. There is a phalian brings the pain. But this, pain in. but this hunter doesn't rely on power to make a kill. He lies on annoying them to death. <laughs> He makes them, he, he destroys their self-esteem and waits until they kill themselves. <laughs> and seems to have been unsuccessful. But this predator's secret weapon is a poisonous bite. What the mm. fuck? Its venom is more lethal than a black mamba's. Oh. Black mamba. And it quickly floods the Lystrosaurus's bloodstream. <laughs> He's freaking out. Everyone's like, calm down, dude. It's fine. What happens if a Therosophalian bites his tongue? Does he kill himself? Or is it, <laughs> is he okay? Or like <laughs> what? The victim collapses, but the herd moves on without concern. They have no social bonds. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sorry, we Our don't care about you. Our proximity was purely based on mathematics. Fuck you, Frank. I never liked you. The Therosophalians close in for the kill. They're all like, whoa. Anyway. Oh, anyway, glad that, see ya. Anyway, glad that wasn't me. <laughs> Well, you then me. Dawn at the foot of the escarpment. Ooh. Hear the list of escarpment? Escarpment, yeah. Have you never heard that word before? I don't think I have. Me neither. With open jaws. Yo, open jaws. Yo, the crocodile. Crocodilus. Chasmatosaurs are the earliest ancestors of crocodiles and alligators. Yeah. Their strange overbite means once they get their teeth into a victim, there is no chance of escape. Yeah, like with me. But they're here for a special event. The annual migration. But it's Jim's birthday, so <laughs> it's Harry and Lucy's 22nd anniversary. Like, put so. the food in here, okay? <laughs> the river's not a great place for hunting insects, but he has speed on his side. He's like, like is this I'm a not... trap? This looks like a trap. Got, this is a trap. Are you, you're in cahoots with a dragonfly. Oh, run away! <laughs> He's like, oh shit! <laughs> Don't get me all bad. The chasmatosaurs are drawn towards the water. <clears throat> Some of them haven't eaten since the Lystrosaurus last passed this way a year ago. Whoa, okay. What the? <laughs> get a fill up? The front of the vast Lystrosaurus herd finally reaches the river. You know that these guys are like are those those proto crocodiles here again. Uh. Are we are we the are we just like the shitty default dinosaur that you start out as and everything else gets to be cool and interesting? Everything else eats us. Eat us. <laughs> everything just eats us. They're strong swimmers, but drowning is not the danger here. <laughs> and the narrator's like, but there's lots of you. And you're like, mm. <laughs> mm. and there's lots of chickens. <laughs> they, linger at the <laughs> they linger at the river's edge, reluctant to go in. For reptiles, they have relatively large brains, and they may remember what happened last year. That was very... <laughs> they, they, they may yeah, remember for reptiles, what happened you have last relatively year. Large the other brains. reptiles look at the camera like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? You go first! No, you! On the other side, lush grazing beckons. Oh, gotta go. Let's go. Come over here and graze! We. Oh, you're fucked. Grace. Yeah, you gotta wonder, is it the, the front, the middle, or the back that are gonna suffer the most? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like Surely in Squid the... Game, the, uh, the glass one, right? Of figuring <laughs> out, like, yeah. is it good to be at the front or at the back? Got to find a place where he can get ashore, and every extra moment in the water increases the risk. Yeah, better hurry, boy. I like how he's gone, no one Maybe else has Maybe fortune favors the brave, you mm -hmm. know? In this case, being first is good. Because it's before they're, they're ready to get you. But you think maybe go with when the most of them are in, you should go safety in numbers, because everyone else will get eaten, hopefully. I mean, depending on how they operate in the water, probably they want to wait for the first couple of ones to go over, so there's more for them to catch. Maybe. Yeah, if, if they you get instantly the grab the first strategy, one, then you know? the rest will be like, whoa, yeah. wait, we're not yeah. doing that. 
Come on, you were brave. You went first. I yes. believe in you. The first swimmer has made it. Yay! Yeah. Good job, first swimmer. Bam gets hit by lightning. <laughs> that would be funny. See, now they're all like, "Oh, we should go now. That now's a good time. Now's yeah. a good time." Yeah. Nah. And then they're gonna get eaten. <laughs> The moral is be extremely brave or extremely cowardly. Yeah, never in between. <laughs> what are the no middle ground? Yeah. <laughs> maybe they, maybe all the alligators saw the first one and they're like, man, that dude's fucking crazy. He's got a death wish. I'm not messing around yeah. with that first guy. <laughs> he has no fear. <sighs> Those are models again, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. it looks, yeah, like, looks it. like it. Oh, blood. Oh. oh, no, it's terrible. I can't watch. Oh, no. I'm not I'm not that upset. They're not really that. I like the first brave one, but the rest plenty of, of them will nervous. make it. It's fine. It's like the default Fortnite skin of animals. And I'm just <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know, man. Most of them don't even care. They're just like, well, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. I mean, they don't have no social bonds, apparently. Exactly. Oh, what's uh, whatever. There's trees over there. <laughs> Although many Listrosaurus are dead, it's still only a small proportion of the herd. Which doesn't mean a fucking thing to them. <laughs> no, they don't know that. <laughs> they they shed no tears. As the planet recovers, so does competition. Oh, oh that's good. dang it! Ah, he actually bumped <laughs> into the camera. What the fuck? <laughs> this is this is breaking the lore. This. <laughs> The they've done, they've done that like five times already. I know, missed it. I know, but this is like the biggest, <laughs> most, you know? Consigning our ancestors they had the scorpion the kill the camera earlier. That was a that was a yeah. cheeky one. This one, it was like, guys, what if we just have like animals bump into the camera sometimes and sniff it? And they're like, yeah, let's do it. Instead, it is creatures like you, Parkeria, that are about to usher in a new golden age. Oh, not the, yeah, not the eye. These Eyes are juicy. Two, these specialists on two legs will provide a cornerstone for one of the greatest dynasties the world will ever see. Oh, Holy shit! Oh, here we go. <laughs> look, look, at the, like, look at the crocodile. It's like, oh, oh Jesus God. Christ. Did you just like level up from discovering a new zone or something? <laughs> Jeez. Their descendants will become the dominant life form on Earth for more than 170 million years and be known as the most notorious monsters of them all. Yeah, look at them. Boy, is it good to be here. Woo! Did it? We what made it to the dinosaurs. Died. All Jenkins, Peter Thorne. Thanks, Connie Kenneth. Smith, it connects Elbon. you up to to walking with dinosaurs now. You got it complete. Now we're we're caught up on all yeah. the lore. This is the Earth lore that I'm learning Earth about. Earth lore. I like Earth lore. <laughs> <clears throat> That's neat. Thanks, that Tim neat. Haynes. Yeah, what a legend. Tim Haynes was out there with the dinosaur. Right, you go over there and, and get eaten. And then he was like, wait, wait, what? What? I do what? Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> this is a great shot. <laughs> this is perfect. Great shot. It has a great shot. It looks As they great. Be right. He's like, trust me, it's for art. It's All right, spider art. down there in the hole. All right, stay nice and still so we can have the lightning hit you. All right. All right, wait. wait. <laughs> he was like, what? Huh? Lightning what? Yeah, um, ah. Walking with Dinosaurs had 15 million viewers. This only had 5 million, so didn't oh, do this well. damn. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess that doesn't make... That's not really surprising. Dinosaurs are awesome, and people don't uh, know yeah. as much about yeah. these fellas. We got, uh, it, Nathan what, Southern what gave Walking with Monsters a positive review, writing that the program was likely to entertain young viewers while encouraging them to think about prehistory. But Ian Johns gave Walking Monsters a negative review, criticizing its over insistence that every creature was locked in a ruthless battle to rule Earth. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh, no. <laughs> in a way, I understand his perspective. Oh, it's supposed to be fun. It's not like it's, it's actually like, like they don't even know what Earth is. I, re I, no. I, re I really liked it. Um, yeah, yeah, it was really I cool. That was cool. Uh, I that was yeah, neat. it's. They did really well with the. I mean, the CGI was pretty good, like considering it's like 2000. 2005 yeah. or something. I mean, was the really BBC uh, budget and pretty the solid. Time. Yeah. And then they look. And that was an interesting blend. Practical. 
Yeah, exactly. As after these models, I, I kind of want to see like the full models they used because we only got like sh uh, close-ups a couple of times. I would have loved so it, it if they, like, they just crank it all up. Way bigger budget, way longer show, yeah. cover more of prehistory and go into like how things evolved. Well, I, I think that's uh, that's kind of like where we're at now, though. We're in an era where those sorts of uh, programs can exist and thrive a bit more. Well, the one seems. thing. This is why it's my favorite one out of like all of them is that those moments where it shows the the animals progressing over time and imagine mm. slowing that down even further and talking about why like why any one mutation happens and then multiple ones and then how it develops over time and pushes you know just biology into particular directions and talk about the ones that are like dead ends and how they happen. Well the thing is if if we did it now, we'd probably because I think the amount of fossils that we uncover has grown pretty significantly. Well, yeah, like I said, the, the what made me years. think about this was the Netflix one that came out semi recently. I don't know how new that is, but it's relatively new. And uh, they do it like this, but they don't have anything of like the evolving sequences. I haven't seen that in any of these other shows. Which is yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's pretty cool because like, they put the the scale there. Yeah, this, as they already pointed they out. And, and they, you know, Kenneth the, Branagh really was like, highlighting before, the biggest um, changes and why. Maybe this is the one that popularized it. I remember growing up watching like Discovery Channel stuff and thinking mm. History Channel stuff, and they would do stuff like it. So I don't know if that if this is what sort of popularized oh, well, it. Or... Maybe it's just that I haven't that. found it in the right places, but I just wish it was in the super high budget stuff, right? You know, like the David Attenborough, Morgan Freeman narrated yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, mm. Imagine the ones that had hundreds of millions behind it. It's like, oh, you can make yeah, it that would be amazing. really cool to oh, see. You know, what it was I, like uh... 100 million years for this thing to gradually turn into this thing. I think what's cool about that. this one is the whole premise of groundwork. It's it's trying to say, like, you ha understand, this is, like, the groundwork for what came afterward. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever wondered, what's the deal with hearts or eyes or things like that? Well, this is where they originated from and why they did, which is really cool. Because, yeah, once you're in dinosaurs, you're starting to get to more familiar... Because it's funny, once we got to the end there with the dinosaurs, that felt, like, more comfortable almost. That yeah. was more cozy yeah, like, and yeah. familiar. Like, like, oh, yeah, dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, we know dinosaurs. those boys. Because yeah. <laughs> dinosaurs, even though they're obviously very different, it's like they feel way more legible as uh, as creatures compared to today. Whereas yeah, before yeah. them, they felt like a lot more bizarre and strange. Well, yeah, yeah the like fact giant only... centipedes and really weird underground, yeah. ro like, you know, gopher reptiles are a little... Yeah. Uh, but the the, thing, I they guess... would have had a brief understanding of the history of basically, you know, like first form of life, two dinosaurs, and been like, right, which ones are we highlighting? So we have an hour and a half. That's it. So... No. Exactly. You gotta pick and choose. I guess the interesting thing is I wonder how they would have been able to ascertain aspects of the behavior based on fossils. I assume like, a lot of that is they... very much guessing. <laughs> I, I yeah, assume what they probably do is they do a lot of comparisons to how animals today yeah, behave. Today. Like, look yeah, at how this thing was, kind of look at its body. Or something. Because uh, it's, it's one of my favorite, again, to reference them, it's one of my favorite Kurzgesagt videos is what did dinosaurs actually look like, where it like, mm. challenges the popular conception of what dinosaurs look like, because mm -hmm. obviously the artistic impressions were based on... You know, you base it's, it on the skeletons, but it's worth remembering that if you base it just on the skeleton, if you took, like, animals from today and tried to figure out what they were based on their skeletons without thinking of, like, fat or weird, like, skin flaps and things like that. you to recreate Boogie based on his skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it probably wouldn't look the same, based right? So. jelly, yeah. And of, and of course, bearing in mind that good old birds, they're the modern dinosaurs, you know, birds have really right. interesting behavior and lots of interesting colors. And I, I mean, it's the, the yeah, I've talked about a lot, velociraptors with uh, feathers. I like them a lot more than, yeah, uh, yeah. I think the velociraptors are cool, but I, I like the feathered ones. Yeah, being uh, feathered and colorful, um, it is, mm -hmm. uh, it's a really neat look. You get the, the Utah raptors and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Times also reviewed Walking with Monsters negatively, writing it was full of small mouthfuls of ghoulish factoids and gory suppositions, and the monsters look like prototypes for toy manufacturers and computer games, and that the program seemed to be aimed at nine-year-old American boys rather than mature British audiences. Okay. It's, okay, calm dang. down. That's some pretentious down, yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> someone. I just want to. I want to see the monsters fight and do shit. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah. Like, if someone needs like an actual, I don't know, intellectual defense of it, it's to give us an idea of what, like, what's the worst of their existence and how much they struggled and why they develop the things they do and what they can use them for. 
Presenting it as a narrative yeah. is way more... It was something that we talked about at the beginning of this. Learning is fun if you present it in a way that's fun. Yeah, One of the easiest ways to make it fun is a, a narrative. Lot, yeah. So much yeah, of what we're aware of. Yeah, the are like characters almost, and you want to... You know, you want to watch them and see what happens it's one to of the, them. It's one of the amazing things about, like, all of the David Attenborough nature documentaries is the way that he'll present them as yeah. a narrative. That's, like, that's his great strength, obviously, aside from the intelligence and the wonderful voice and everything, is the <laughs> taking what we see in nature and presenting it in a way that's really comprehensible and makes you empathize with the animals. Yeah, and, and like, a lot of our understanding of other cultures does come from media as opposed to school. You know what I mean? Like... Well, yeah, the thing is, you can make a book really interesting if it's got cool illustrations and stuff like that. Um, but when you present it in a dry and clinical way, yeah, that, that can just be a barrier to entry where, it, where stuff like this is the kind of thing that would make someone go, damn, I want to read a bit more about, you know, some of the critters that we saw in this uh, documentary. Yeah, when we see dinosaurs in all the books and stuff growing up as kids, they're, all, they're jumping around and leaping and they're exactly. chasing one another. And they you know, they're up it. on their hind legs on trees and stuff, and you're like, oh yeah, they're not just like standing around. In much the same it, way well, that uh, I think people's interest in space and astronomy, I mean, I could say for myself, like the reason why I like astronomy and, and space and all that is because of science fiction. I like science fiction dealing with that, even if it, even if it wasn't realistic, like Ratchet and Clank ain't realistic, but that was part of the influence of liking yeah. space and science fiction. Oh yeah, a or revolution science, needs to rather. happen for education to make it more fucking engaging, but... I was even going to say, like, you know, if someone was watching this in a science class, when they say, the arthropods are back, I could see the teacher being like, uh, so they never went away. I don't know why he's presented it this way. They were, like, there is no round on. two. That doesn't even make sense. It's that they weren't always competing with amphibians. They were just life that exists. And it's like, we know. It's okay. It's fun. It's fun okay. and interesting. Yeah. With, no one's like, yeah, the Chicago Cubs are back. He's like, yeah, we know they never <laughs> left. That's not what we mean by that. We <laughs> haven't won a World Series in like a hundred fucking years. And this is around. Okay. And then the funny thing is, is like, if you made everyone watch this in school, and then you gave them like fucking trading cards with all of the different main monsters on it that had all their facts, and then you can pit them against each other and stuff. It's like, you understand. That shit will probably sit in their head for the rest of their lives, like, knowing, like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I knew that this, as, as, you know, like, the description in Top Trumps where it says, like, this was the first creature that ever, you know, had a blah, blah, blah. That might just be something they know forever now. Because you made it exactly. fun. Exactly. Brought away in their brain. But no, instead we played Pokemon, because <laughs> that was more fun yeah. than, than school. Because it was a really? game. It was interesting, and, you know, it had all the stuff going on. I feel like um, it's kind of like how The Sims was something that inspired people to get into architecture. Like The Sims is video oh, game. Oh, yeah, I can see and that. So much time building houses that that actually... Or, you know, stuff like Sim City, right? Where you play Sim City and that kind of gets you interested in city management uh, roads and whatnot. That there's a lot of different avenues if you can present it in a fun and engaging yeah. way that can get people interested in ways that translate to the real world. Yeah, because if you and play yeah. the, these these building games, you just kind of start fucking around, then all of a sudden, oh, we need this and this and this, and something you just don't think about when you build things. You're just like, I want to build yeah. a city, haha. -ha. And it's like, we don't have any water. It's like, what? You want water? Right. I just want to build a city. It's like, uh uh. Also, we need to shit somewhere. And there's a fire over there. We need a fire station. So it's like, oh, well, so you yeah. deal with practical problems, but presented in a gamified yeah. way that makes it fun in much the same way that this presents you with. You know, I guess at this point, probably, yeah, there's some stuff where it's probably not accurate anymore, but at the very least, it's like an entry point. By the way, can get um, you more interested. this was shot over two years, and it cost three million to make. It only wow. cost oh. three million dollars? Yeah. Interesting. In 2005. Uh, the production of Walking with bad. Monsters was envisioned as finishing the story of prehistoric life, beginning with mm. Walking with Dinosaurs in 1999, and continued in Walking with Beasts in 2001. Dinosaurs focus on the Mesozoic, Beasts on the Cenozoic, and then the Monsters completes the trilogy of life. That's Aww. really neat. It's <laughs> yeah. like a full circle thing. See what you can do with three million dollars. Well, that's what I mean, right? It's like, <laughs> you know, a safe but bet now... to say that you could have made a hundred of those for you get the marbles instead, like, with well, yeah, the marketing costs and, and stuff. The thing is, now these these shows get a bigger budget. They do, Because it's yeah. like more of a, a capacity for them to exist and thrive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the like I said, watching the newer ones, the stuff they capture now is absolutely incredible of like actual just even current life, you know? Oh, well, I mean, it's it's something that uh, I remember it was kind of mind-blowing when I saw it, but it was one of the, it was like a BBC documentary that presented the first 
ever captured in the wild footage of um of uh snow leopards good old tai lung and, yeah. and it's, apparently it took them like decades to ever achieve that that was an incredibly difficult f thing for them to ever capture um it, it's shockingly kind of... self-conscious and camera shy so yeah exactly but but the thing is is that it's it's almost like the success of it is presenting it in a way that's effortless as as though there's no barrier between you as the viewer and right. this, and viewing this nature when in reality these are insane logistical challenges that take years and years and years to uh to create although walking with monsters attracted the least viewers and it had the most mixed reviews it won an emmy for outstanding animated program and nominated hey. after Outs yeah. Outstanding animated program. Does that? I wonder how they like um, decide how that's won. If it has to do with like the animation itself, or how it's incorporated it's into got, the um, in the brackets story, for or... one hour or more, which is interesting. Yeah, the, the thing is, is okay. that because they have less than an hour is the thick like Simpsons South Park. That's yeah. you know that would be like the category under half an hour, over an hour is uh yeah like television specials. Yeah, it says like a. Uh... The computer graphics of Walking with Monsters were created by the visual effects company Framestore, and they were the most sophisticated CGI in the entire franchise, with 29 different creatures created in almost 600 VFX shots. God damn. And then they had animatronics and, uh, you know, uh, burrows and different things created on sets and studios. It's like, man, that's I think cool. that's what I was impressed by with the, yeah, uh, with awesome. the production is that they recognized even with what they could achieve, the limitations, and still tried to use a lot of practical environments a lot of the time, practical, like, interaction between digital creatures, but with physical impacts on, like, the water and on the ground and whatnot, and then the animatronics. Like, it seemed like some pretty intelligent use of uh, the tools that they had. And again, $3 million. Goddamn. Yeah. You could do a lot. I mean, that's about... That's about what the descent cost, right? Was it like three and a half million pounds or three million pounds, something like that? Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, I can't remember exactly, but um, we've always wasn't much noted how. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the biggest problems with the biggest studios is the absolutely insane spending. But uh, no, I yeah. spent two hundred million dollars on the Marvels. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> idea. Fuck's sake! <laughs> it's just so much money, and it's so ass. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that very specific, strange, and special episode of EFAB. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was, cool. that was a great idea, Mewfly. I enjoyed that quite yeah, a bit. I thought see. you guys I would so I figured you guys would have seen it, maybe. I didn't know, because... Uh, no, I have no, not I seen it before. Seen Always Brand fun program for this fun. Uh, but apparently it ran in Germany. It's this ProSieben. That's, that's a German channel, so... It must have ran here at some point. I've always known it to be, like, have a decent amount of fans. I didn't realize it was, like, the most, the worst reviewed out of the lot. I was like, oh. Here's something that I think it might have needed. Um, if you're getting people into this sort of thing, I think that a, a, the, the fact that things evolve in such ways is presented very matter-of-factly, which is okay if you're an adult, but especially if it's for younger audiences. Giving the baseline explanation of what evolution really is you know, would probably be helpful. Yeah. And it wouldn't take too long at the beginning, but to say, like, yeah, it, like, you might think at first that, you know, it, it, this amazing transformation takes place over, you know, an uncountable amount of generations, tiny piece by tiny piece, and it's little by little, and it's all about adaptation and what little changes happen, and every creature is a mutation from its parents, that's why you look different from your parents. And some mutations are beneficial, most are just, don't, you never even notice them. Some are bad, some are good, and sometimes those good little mutations can help that species, you know, or that individual survive and spread their genes, and so you act that, you know, rack that up over millions of years, and you have, you know, what eventually amounts to big changes. And I think that's the kind of thing that it probably needs at the beginning give that very baseline entry level of here's what evolution is. Yeah, and if well, you yeah, like, like, included that, um, massively. the eye thing that we were talking about, right, as a, as a starter, just as a sense of a creature mm -hmm. that is searching for light. And how yeah, you have the little there. goobers on the ground in the on the on the fo uh, floor of the the ocean, and then a shadow passes over it, and then it like scurries away because it recognized that there was that like all of a sudden the light went away. Like, but how does it know? Because the first version of eyes, you know, the the ancient descendants of our eyes are on this creature because it just picks light up light. sensitive cells. And then maybe as the show goes on, you could always return to the eyes. Like the eye gets a little bit better, and so by the time you're near the end. 
it's like now they could see like you know shapes and colors and things at distance and is some even have can see underwater clearly because they have film over their eyes or something like that mm. and that would have been neat to take one element that all these creatures pretty much share and see how it gets more complex and changes over time I still think it was a grand effort, and it's unfortunate like it. it was not oh, uh, yeah. very engaged with, apparently. But hey. well, we liked it, so yeah. hey, we liked it. Yeah. And I'm glad it exists, and I'm sure a lot of oh, yeah. uh, kids were too. It's good stuff. Okay, bye bye. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Don't go in the hole. There's lightning in there. Uh, that's right. Be careful. <laughs>